Hello fluffy people of the world, my name is Liquid Blitz and welcome back to Dark Souls 2! Okay, now, that looks like I'm in game but I'm actually not, hang on one second. Um, da -da 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 -da. Right, okay, so... We're going back to old school with a, with a game plan and what I've learned since last episode list. Okay. I'm maintaining that, um... A list of petrified blocked paths, just um, Scotland and that stone area in um, just before or just after Heidi's Tower of Flame. Anyway, so since the last episode, I have learned officially never to sprint my stamina empty because then I've got to wait for a full recharge before I can sprint again. So that's um, learning number one. Number two is a is a sore point and it just it is what it is i've learned that if my summoned npc dies in a boss fight if i just die intentionally i can just redo it <laughs> i mean luke Cateel didn't have to die in that lost sinner fight but it is what it is we've learned our lesson um and also i put a poll online um because i couldn't decide whether to summon or not going forward and the vast majority of people voted for summon notable NPCs um, rather than... This is loud music. Summon the notable NPCs um, is my decision uh, rather than not summon. Um, and if I want to, if I really want to try a boss solo, I can always do that ascetic thing a new game plus uh, a boss to do it solo after the fact. I'm not going to summon every NPC, just ones like Luca Teal that seem very important. Um, I... I was leaning towards summoning anyway, but um, people's votes just backed me up, and I, I value the story a little bit more than just uh, a slight, like, extra challenge on a boss. So, you know, I can always try it solo later on if I want to. So, anyway, the to-do list of this episode. Somebody has been on my case every episode to speak to that shopkeeper with zero soul, so that's what we're going to do. Um, Spend pebbles if I've got any at the bird's nest is number two. Number three, try power stancing with any weapons. Um, thanks for all the feedback since the last episode. I've learned you don't need identical weapons to power stance. You don't even need two of the same weapon type. There are some combos that you can have two different weapons. So I'm going to try that real quick. Um, apparently Steady Hand McFluff, or McDuff, whatever his name was, was sitting on a chest and I didn't notice, so I'll be looting that. Um, it's quite possible I missed stuff in Lost Bastille. I'm thinking either a wall or a bonfire. Um, thank you for the vague feedback that I missed something. Uh, I'm going to defeat the roof gargoyles. That's my main next thing to do, uh, since I died to them. And then after that, um, basically, I want to go back to that red dragon boy in Hades Tower. <laughs> and, uh, fight the dragon or get past the dragon, you know, something like that. Um... There was that red dragon that I never bothered to confront in the first game until like the end of the game. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to make that same mistake. That's next on the list. And if that's quick, then the next thing after that is to go to Scotland and use that branch of your um, to get through to Scotland in that area of the game. Anyway, hang on. Bear with me one second. When I bring this game back up, just bear with me. Ooh. Are all system hang on. Are all systems green and good to go? Hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Got, we've, we've got delay, ladies and gentlemen. We've got delay, that's unacceptable. Um da 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 Right. That's gotta be good enough. Yep, okay. Let me take a swig and let's get to it. Going forward, we're really going to try our best to, uh... I'm going to kill the piggies for a warm-up. So far, I, I am so slow in these games. It takes me, like, three hours to do what other people can do in, like, one hour. Do you know what I mean? So we're going to spend less time talking shit about what I'm going to do and more time doing shit. You missed, you piggy bastard. Not counting the very start of the episode when we're going over our itinerary. Um, then I'm happy to just sort of stand there and talk for a little bit. But my biggest sort of failing is um, 
is I can't play and talk at the same time, which is not good for a, a YouTube Let's Player. Right. Oh, I've got souls. Shit. Shit. I've got... S <sighs> I wanted to speak to him with zero souls. Then I go kill some pigs and I get some souls. Uh, You know what? I think I'm going to die. We die to the gargoyles. But I think I went into that with very few souls intentionally, so I had nothing to lose. So the amount of souls that'll be on the floor on that rooftop with the gargoyles might be one or two thousand souls. So I'm gonna just... Shall, shall I use this as an opportunity to see if this is actual death? Um, yeah. I remember I died intentionally with very few souls to those gargoyles, so... I'm going to pretend they're not even there. Let's just see if this is a thing. I figured it would be death. Yeah. Okay. Well, we've learned something. Interesting, though. Maybe, I wonder if you, that's fixed death, or if you just simply need more health, or a, a fall damage ring or something to go down there. I'm guessing that's late game, though, and we find some official way of going down there. Right, okay. Okay, right. It's just one guy. I, I f sorry, I've forgotten your name. But uh, every episode he's posted a comment saying, Speak to the motherfucker with zero souls. I'm glad to see you safe. T take a look at my wares. I assume he meant this guy. I considered returning to my homeland. But I've decided to stay a while longer. I've started to turn a handsome profit now. I considered returning. Oh, okay. Maybe it's a different shop or the cat. Because Maulin the Ballin has absolutely nothing to see. Out of interest. Has he got any new armor? Nope. Okay. So we ended the last What's episode. For business? That, I thought this was the guy somebody was repeatedly telling me to, to talk to with zero cells. Let's talk to everyone. Talk to the cat next. I could have sworn that was the end, very NPC I've been told to talk to. What? Oh, first time I've seen the cat pouring at the wall. Oh. <laughs> no, you do have a rather pleasant type. Let's just talk to them this all. This place is already dead. Everything will crumble and waste away so that something new may be born. Isn't it what? I don't think she's got anything. Okay. We receive only the most. It's enough to keep even. Right. Okay. Nothing, nothing for me. To do, I presume. That's fine. Okay. That's two NPCs down. Nothing unique said. I'm starting to think that person was lying to me, or I haven't triggered some sort of thing. You. Would... We call this not too special if you're. Not it's too just special. The place. Everyone's so. So stingy. You're my. Okay. Lively By the way, I, I noticed... Uh, we'll get going soon, I promise. I noticed that the soul of the lost sinner, I didn't realize it looked so much bigger and brighter than all the other souls. Um, so I'm guessing here... I thought I'd like the... Um, the last giant was like the first major boss of the game. You know, Green Lady, the Green Herald has been talking about four main big fuckers before facing the king or whatever. I figured the last giant was the first of those, but looking at that soul, I'm starting to think that the lost sinner was the first of the four major bosses, because that's one big looking soul compared to all the rest, which look like basic bitches. Um, so yeah. Right, so, let's try power stancing. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna try with. Let's just... Let's just put on two identical swords and see what happens. Um, right, this is it. So this is just dual. I don't. I, yeah, this is just dual wielding. I think, right, regular. And then I think I need to. Uh, there, like you click and hold the button, don't you? Which would dual wield your. Uh, which would two-hand your left weapon, usually. But when you're power stancing, it changes. So, when I'm not power stancing, it's just... It's just your right weapon, and then your left weapon. 
just regular one-handed attacks, basically. And then when you're power stancing, this is the first time I've seen this, by the way. Um, it changes the way it's holding it, and then... Right, that looks like your right, at your standard main hand attack is just, just one-handed still. Right, okay, I think you're supposed to attack with your left-handed button to do power stance attacks. That's a standard right power attack. What's a left power attack? Oh, okay. Right, okay. That's not a combo, but yeah, clearly. Okay, so I think power stancing, you use your, all your left buttons, don't you? Which I'm not really happy about. I, I'm so conditioned to press R1 on this controller, that L1 is just... That's my block with a shield button. I'm, uh, that's, it feels weird to press. I'm guessing it doesn't just let you straight... <gasps> ooh. Ooh. Now, I don't have the necessary shit. But if I understood correctly that the whole stats requirement thing, it just slows you down, really, um, by when you try to power a stance. It, 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 um... Sorry, I'm, I can't even speak today. You know what I mean? Ah, right, okay. Maybe it doesn't let you power stance as well, that's part of the drawback. Of not having the, the stats requirement. Maybe you can have like a straight sword and like a curved sword. Ultra great sword. Let's try two great swords. And if this doesn't work, I know for a fact I need the stats requirements. To power stunts. Hang on. That's my right weapon. Left, right, okay. 100%. I need the stats. So I can't really test any others, really. Two daggers? There, power stance. So that's just the right. Okay. Woo! <laughs> oh, that's fast as shit. You know that's all great and well, but one single enemy with like a spear, and I'm fucked because I can't attack, and they can hit me. But that's uh, interesting. Mmm. Starting to think the um, power attack, the strong attack, in any power stance, is just one attack rather than a combo. Because it's the same thing. Right, well, I definitely want to work my stats towards being able to equip, like, a couple of halberds or something. I'm looking forward to seeing that sort of power stance shit. Um, I've had people telling me again and again to kind of ignore stats and scaling for damage and just go for stats that will let me use stuff. Um, so yeah, anyway, for now, we'll go back to our shit and we'll start the episode proper. There we go. Everything's fine for now. Thanks for sticking with me through that shit and let's go. What's next on the list? Um, oh, do I have any pebbles? Pebbles, 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 pebbles. Can I get me a pebble? Da, 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 da. Oh, right, there are big, smooth and silky stones, and small ones. Right, let's go spend those right now. Um, is it fastest to just run back? Uh, probably. Right, I'm back here. I might want to go speak to, uh, shall I, shall I go... Male again, because I'm still um, female, by the way. I don't really have a preference either way. I might go speak to the standing lady in the witch room, um, uh, because uh, she gave me a ladle for... Hello. She gave me a ladle for something. Just because I can. Just because I can. You suck, sir. I don't remember these guys wearing cloaks and clothes, do you? I thought they were all kind of naked. Anyway. Right, let's drop the three smalls. Um, I think it lands under my feet. So let's stand right in the dead center. Woo, <laughs> I will give you silky. Just hang on. 
I'll drop one at a time as well, otherwise I'll I'll break the system. Uh Hang on, you can use these. What do they do? Oh, restores HP. No, okay. Now I can't remember if it's discard or leave. I think it's leave. Let's just try leaving one. Yeah, it's on the floor. Okay. I can only am so if I pick it up. You, you, give it yes, you. Old mundane right, okay. I wonder if you if this is random. Or if it's not random, it's a specific order of items you receive, maybe. Old mundane stone. What the fuck is that? Okay. Is that a weapon? <laughs> is that like a rock I can beat people with? What the fuck? Old mundane stone. You, you, give us smooth. Ah, uh, oh, oh! <laughs> We've got a thing. Grants the power of the mundane. That <laughs> doesn't sound terrifically powerful. An altered state of titanite used to imbue weapons with the power of the mundane. Cannot be used on shields. People do not look favorably on the banal. But sometimes, even the most mundane of objects can cast things. <laughs> well, that's that looks important to me. Doesn't sound great, but... I wonder what the fuck that does. I don't, that sounds like it, it de-magics or like de-fires uh, a weapon. You know what I mean? Well, let's get through these items. Here we go. Thanks for that. Anything else? What have we got? We got a bolt stone. Oh my god. Lightning upgrade, I'm guessing. Yes. I c when I hear voices like that in video games, I can't help but imagine an actual human in a voiceover booth recording those lines. You know what I mean? And I just it, it, I I can only imagine a hilarious scene. Right, imbues equipment with lightning. I wonder if these are one-time uses, or if it's a permanent upgrade thing, you know? Yeah, lightning. Sorcerers of the Melfian Magic Academy once attempted to imbue Titanite with various elements, but are said to have failed. Someone must have succeeded. You, you, give it mood. Hmm. Yes, you! Give, give us silky! Yeah, it's not clear if these are one-time uses or not. They must be a one-time use, because I'm just getting these willy-nilly for, for some silly, smooth stones, you know? If it was like a... If this lasted forever, surely I'd get it at a more important moment. Old whip. Okay, okay, big one. I bet this gets me something nice. Leave. Here we go. Bleed stone. That'll be a bleed upgrade. Okay. Well, thanks for that. Um, I look forward to attempt, you know, trying out those upgrade things at some point. That will wait for a future episode, I think. Or like the end of this episode, because I want to get going. In Dark Souls 1, all the upgrade materials, like embers, were all like very important loot items. And you get you loot them in specific spots throughout the game, you know. I figure it would have been the same in this. If once you have the stone, that's it forever. So it must be one-time use stones. Hello. The old women assist. Oh. Ago, but now they. Ah, nothing new. Okay. But now they'll. I figured after killing the lost sinner, she might have like a a ladle 2.0 for me. Right, let's travel back. What else? Let me just quickly check the to-do list. Because <laughs> I've already forgotten what was on it. Okay, we've done everything quickly on the to-do list, except loot the chest that Steady Hand and McFluff was sitting on. Uh, now, just bear with me a second. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. McDuff's workshop, there we go. So yeah, I had a couple of people hinting at the fact that I missed something in Lost Bastille. Um, and I didn't know that that Sinner's Rise is technically separate. If you look at this list, 
Sinner's Rise is actually separate to Lost Bastille. Which is odd because it's part of the same whole area. Um, and you know what? I'm just realizing, I'm just remembering, isn't there an item up there on that wall? Yeah. So I have missed a whole bunch of shit. Okay. Right, okay, so there's clearly... Used Bastille key. How have I not unlocked that door before now? Oh, there you are. Okay, well, what was in your chest, sir, that you were sitting on? Craftsman's hammer. And another twinkle. We get we're starting to rack up those twinkling titanite. Um which is good. Is that hammer gonna let me like repair on the move or something? Something? I bet it does. It must. Oh, is it a hammer? Like a weapon. Craftsman's hammer. An old smithing hammer. Looks like a typical hammer, but is in fact incredibly sturdy. 80 durability. Not bad. Someone say it was the hammer used long ago by a famed blacksmith of yore. Branch of yore? Blacksmith of yore? It's... I'm guessing that's... Hang on. Let me look at that on this page. Uh, 172 strike. Um, are you shitting me right now? My plus, f my plus five katana is 172 damage. A a beginner level hammer 172. Oh, sorry. Well, still 166. Okay, that must be really slow swinging. I'm going to put that on for... S there we go. <laughs> it's two-handed, I'm guessing. Or, you know what I mean. The very least, like, really high... Um, um, dry. 20 strength. That's, that's not much. That's only, like, four levels of strength away or something. B strength scaling. So it is like a big old hammer. Yeah, uh, let me have a look at the move set. Oh! Right, my big... Um, right. I can I can wield it effectively just like the halberd in two hands. Let's just kill these dogs. I want to see. Ooh! Okay, one shot kill. Power attack. Oh shit, I've got more on me. More on me! In the face. Okay. The power attack seems to be the same as the light attack. Okay, my biggest issue with maces in Dark Souls 1 uh, was the moveset. I really, really didn't like the moveset. It just didn't feel flourishy, particularly strong. I just really didn't like it, so I just didn't ever use maces. This looks awesome for a light attack. That's flourishy right there. That's the power attack. Let's try the jump attack. Standard slam, that's nice. Running attack. Okay. Power stancing two maces might be fucking awesome. That's a hell of an upgrade over the first game. Especially the light attack. That's... That mace is sh heavy maces should always be flourishy because the, the weight of a hammer should, you know, lend itself to, to nice swings, you know? Kind of like Thor wielding Mjolnir. It should... You, there should be natural follow-through with your swings and it should be nice and flourishy. But in the first game, it was just a bit heavy-handed and boring. I'll keep that in mind going forward. Considering the fucking strength of that. Hmm. Right, I'm gonna stick with the katana though for now. And let's uh let's go. Has he got anything to say about the new items? To fetch a new flame. Flame. Dio flame. That's a shame you can't buy two Uchi katanas. Ooh. There must be more katanas down the road, so yeah. Okay, so here we go. Infuse weapon. Um by the way, 
If I get 2,000 souls, I could do this to the katana right now. Da -da -da. Right, bolt stone. Okay. Uh, dark, uh, bleed stone. I reckon bleed would go with a katana really well. Because of the fast follow-up attacks and, you know. I, I'll, all I can think of is rivers of blood from Elden Ring. Okay, old mundane stone is needed for mundane. There isn't like a description, is there? Hmm. Well, okay. From the start of it, and even now, but his re and so. Okay, well. Be gone. Be gone. Okay, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, let me just take a little moment here to figure out how I would possibly get up there. Right, either that's one hell of a leap off that roof. Or I've just got to walk all the way down there. Let's do the maths. To walk all the way down there, I've got to walk all the way down there. From there. So I need to be on the bridge up yonder. Like... F fucking... Uh, I tell you what. I think I can transport to that fire up on Sinner's Rise. That'll give me a good one, like, view of the area. I like a lot of the weapons in this game. You know, as much shit as as people have talked about Dark Souls 2. And I can already see the problems with it versus the first game. Um, oh. oh, you shit. You piece of shit. I can see the problems. The ever-diminishing life when you die is kind of an annoyance that you could do without. Shit like that. I do get it. Um, that's the wall I need to be on above my head. That's the wall that goes to that sticky out shit. So I'm I'm too far, I'm far too far away. What's the nearest place? Holding cells is quite close, actually. Um, I might have a, I might have a closer look with that one, but I doubt that's how I get to those places. I need to go up inside the main chunk of building after killing the three sentinels that area. Um, and that's the servants. That's that one. I'm just going to go there. Anyway, back to my thought. Yeah, I'm really liking a lot of the move sets of weapons in this game. The addition of power stancing is just obviously excellent. Uh, I must say, I do appreciate a lot of the things that they did with this game already. Like, it's clear that they experimented with a lot of new features and new things, and that's the mark of a great... Um, developer when you're willing to willing to make big changes from what was a successful first game you know the developers got some serious balls because you're fucking with like a perfect formula type situation um so while a lot of people have issues with this game i can't help but appreciate the new additions some good some bad they're just throwing shit at the wall to see what sticks you little bastard And I'm all about, yeah, trying new shit with, like, sequels, you know? How else are you going to find out what works and what doesn't? Right, it's further that direction I want to go. I reckon I've missed probably a bonfire and, like, a wall. Or a wall leading to a bonfire. And I've, I've got a vague idea of the direction because of the missing looting items. Fucking hell. Right, back off. Jesus Christ. It's been like a week since I last played, and it's not because I've been too busy. Unfortunately... Get up. Fucking hell. Oh, what status effect is that? Oh, I don't know what that bar is there. Yeah, uh, the past week, every day... From morning until night, my next-door neighbors had some building work going on. And I'm talking about the very loud sort of building work where it's constant drilling and hammering. And it, one day, a couple of days ago, I tried, re like, I sat down to... 
officially, you can't roll through every barrel safely. Jesus Christ. So yeah, I've, yeah, I sat down a couple of days ago to record this very episode, and you could hear, even with all my awesome noise suppression on the mic and shit, you could still just hear blatant um, hammering and drilling, so I just I had to cancel that episode. Um, I didn't do anything. I just I sat down to record, and then they started drilling. So I've been sitting here for like for several days, you know, waiting for the fucking builders to stop, and it ha really was morning until night. Like they would start. I'm not joking. The earliest was like seven thirty or something. So I was tired as well. They would wake me up at seven thirty after I went to sleep at six. You know what I mean? And then they would be going until like, you know, 4, 5, 6, 7 p.m. Which doesn't sound that late, but you know, I'm not going to record an episode if I'm tired. And if they start early, it means I'm going to be too tired come 6 p.m. to record an episode. So you get the idea. Oh, he blew himself up. Right, okay. So, we're getting close to where I figured there would be a wall. Is this where that loot was at the end of the corridor? I did check it. I'm going to click ev on every fucking inch of wall. You know? I'm also going to try rolling and... You are fucking kidding me. What the fuck? I clicked on this one. I must have, like, done one of these and gone a bit too fast over... Oh, yeah. Shit. I clicked all around here last time I was here, but I guess I was too fast on this wall. Well, there you go. Oh, shit. Oh, well, I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna sweat this motherfucker anymore. You don't understand how good I've gotten at this game, sir. Better than you. You suck, Mr. Pursuer. You are nothing but a basic bitch. Oh, come on. It'd be nice if I could actually land an attack, though, to be fair. There we go. Just land some attacks. All is good. Fuck! Fuck! No! Get off me! Fuck you and your curse. I don't care about your curse. I do want to heal, though, before he does magic attacks. Run away, run away, run away. Fuck you! Ah, oh, you little butt rat, okay. You know what? I don't even care. He, re he, re he pops up like... So many times, I don't really care. Y you know? That's like his fourth uh, time appearing in Lost Bastille alone. Fuck him. And you want to get 6,000 souls, which isn't much. Ring. Bracing knuckle ring. Knuckle ring worn by Roy the Explorer. Slows equipment degradation. Oh. Expensive flashy gear will not always make life easier for you. Sometimes you just need a... You're tried and true. Okay. That's a nice light ring as well, in terms of weight. Hmm. Was this Roy the Explorer? Okay, very nice. Oh, that's just that passageway, okay. Roy the Explorer. Sadly died exploring, clearly. M hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, that's f three torches, thank you. Hang on. That's fine. My durability seems okay, to be honest with you. Um, there are some items, to be fair, which specifically come with a low durability and that's like part of their description 
Maybe if I want to use one of those, that wor that ring's worth using. I'm sure that item to loot is around there, you know. I'm doing the maths as I'm talking shit. Can I... You know what I mean. You know what I'm looking at doing. Can we do this? Okay, this doesn't seem appropriate or correct. It does now I'm standing on the stone, but I was walking in the sky over there. We're walking in the air. Hang on. I had a quick look at my shields earlier. There we go. Golden wing shield. A blue shield with a gold relief of wings. Likely a symbol of guardianship used by Knights of the Blue. Contains materials enchanted by magic, allowing spells to be deflected by parrying. Spell parry slash strike. Okay. Is that the only shield that can do that? That's one hell of a fucking... Uh... Yeah, parry, spell, parry. I'm guessing that lets you do regular parries as well. 80% magic reduction and a spell parry. I bet that's awesome to use in a magic build. Staff in one hand, since we know there's no difference with dual, like, like two-handing a staff. That's, that's fucking awesome for a magic build. Right, there's no bonfire, but we got a good amount of loot. Oh! 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 Right, well, okay. We've done good. Let's go back up to Gargoyle area, because I do want to do that. Let's, um, let's fuck those fuckers up. I wonder if I missed something down below. Down where you summon Luca Teal and there's that big fucking fucker. The bit the the big fucker, you know. Cause that was quite a lengthy run back to the lost sinner area. So far, this episode has gone well. So far. No, no, no! no, no. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, game. Take yourself and then fuck yourself. At least. I was right here. You know what I'm saying? It's right here. It's no trouble to get back to those 3,000 souls. Jesus Christ. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I should never say I'm doing good or I'm proud of myself. Because as soon as I say that, literally no sooner had I... F oh, shit. I hadn't even finished the sentence before I ran off to my own death. Like, what manner of fuckwit am I? Let's just take some hits, it's fine. Just get the souls, it's all good. Okay, don't stop, stop missing my attacks. That's right, bitch. You off the edge, not me. Right, any illusory walls around here? I'm guessing not, but you never fucking know. This is going to be a common reoccurrence, by the way. I think that wall I just got was probably the first one that was just on a flat piece of wall with no features, like no obvious illusory wall. Like these walls, basically. Now, I... I don't think I can be asked going down there. Uh, oh, forgive me, but how the fuck do I get back up to the to the gargoyle area? 
Um, oh shit, I've completely forgotten. Was it back in the main thing? Shit, I've completely forgotten. Uh, can I see a rooftop or a tower somewhere? It's not up here. I wouldn't be surprised, actually. If that thing people said I missed was up, up here somewhere. I need to go back this way, past a bunch of fucking dudes. We're gonna just keep trying to go up, basically. I'm gonna run past motherfuckers, because... This run back is annoying. Let's just run past every single fucker. Oh god. This is bad. No, this is bad. It's not, uh... You know, the, the worst run back sort of situation is when there's one block in a fucking hallway or a doorway, because you can't go past them. The, the person hitbox, if you see what I'm saying, uh, is, it literally spans the entire corridor. I'll, yeah, let's just keep going up. Keep going up. Oh my god, oh my god, there's too many, there's too many, there's too many! I see, I understand the implications now. Oh fuck. Right, let's go back down real quick. No, no, no! You fucking idiot, I didn't click on that. I did not click on that, we did not click on that. Right, th thank god. These are a one-shot kill, and thank god these ones aren't attacking me. Why are they not attacking me? I tell ya, if the- alright, okay. I'm glad I didn't attack any of these, in case there's some special situation here. How did I not come up here? Oh, hang on, I've got some more attacking me. I will be- I'll, I'm not gonna forget this time, for fuck's sake. Just hang on, I just wanna make sure we're all secure. Okay. Elevator down, that's fine. All good. How did I not go up here? <laughs> uh, by the way, I didn't- I'd like to point something out. I didn't press the- the X or A key to open that door then. I pressed circle to roll. I swear on my life, I didn't misclick. I'm not that level of noob. I hit the roll key and it unlocked the door. Hello? Okay, that's odd. Whoo, petrified dragon bone. Dragon bone? What is this? Skyrim? Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Petrified. Oh, I wonder if that's needed for a weapon enchantment. Hang on. Bleed bolt. There. Petrified dragon bone. Reinforces special equipment. Dragon weapon. I'm guessing. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's just click A on these guys. I've got this guy. Well, this is a weird one. I've got two br branches right now, and I can't buy any more. I bought the one from the vendor already. Now I've got two. I've got Scotland's petrify thing to to do, to do, and I've got the one near Hyde's, Hades Tower of Flame. So I've got two, and I need two already before I saw this one. The only thing in front of this is... Um... There might be an illusory wall behind this bonfire. But if there isn't, then this is just simply another bonfire. Now, is this... Um, an easier run back to somewhere? It's not, it's not an easier run back down there. 
to, to go back down to the Lost Sinner area because there's a campfire right there. So that's easy to get back there. But the main question, is it easy to get back to the gargoyle roof where my next fight is going to be? I might have to check my other episode here. Um, this is a nice open room to fight in. Nice open room to fight in here. Let's fight in here. Fuck you! Ow. This is bad. I do want to heal. Who the fuck is full on, by the way? <laughs> I can roll too, bitch. <sighs> Just breathe, it's fine. Just breathe. It's all good. I've just got to breathe and anticipate the attacks. Oh, these motherfuckers. Oh, he got me. I'm going to win this fight. This bout is mine! Only these invaders roll, by the way. They're clearly better than all other NPCs. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Fuck you! Forlorn. Forlorn. Do I get any loot? Effigy. Ooh, I got like a shitload of souls. Okay. Worth it. Um... Right, okay, anyway, before all that shit went down, how the fuck do I get back to that gargoyle roof? It was in the Lost Bastille, was it not? I'm not going fucking mental. Let's go down here and just remind myself what the hell's down here. Was it just loot? Oh, right. This was the room with the... it was the... Whoa! Fucking hell! Fucking hell! Lunatic! Don't hit the barrels, don't hit the barrels. Fuck me. Shadow top? What's that? Top as in one of those spinny things? Or is that a weapon? Should I just use one of those branches? It seems like an absolute fucking pointless waste to use it on just a bonfire that I don't really need now because I've already done this area. I still need to do that whole there. Uh... Mm. Whoa, you fucking maniac! Right, uh, if it's not in this area, I will just quickly check where the fuck... Oh god. Please give me a break. I've got dogs on my ass. One down. Just kill them. Kill all fuckers. Okay, now I've got a shortcut back to the previous areas. Am I just completely fucking stupid? Don't answer that. Right, let's get back to the bonfire. <laughs> oh! Arch... Archdrake robes and shield. When the fuck was this hole here? Did that barrel explosion explode this wall? I wonder... You know, I wonder now if there was a crack in this wall. Just like the... Because uh, I've only seen one wall that was explodable so far. And it had a crack there. Illusory walls. Jesus Christ. No. Well, I'm glad I came back. 
Let's give those a quick read. Archdrake Robes. Robes of the Archdrake Sect of Lindelt. Little is known about the Archdrake Sect and its ancient rituals, and those who dare to indulge their curiosity have been known to simply vanish. The Archdrake Sect are the keepers of Lindelt's histories, including the only record of its foundation, a tome they have good reason to keep hidden away. Right, I'm going to watch my last, last episode back now to figure out how the fuck to get back to Thingy-Mabob. The, the gargoyle and imp area. Right, I'm back. I've just, I've just quickly skipped forward to the end of the last episode on YouTube. Watching my own video, and uh, yeah, it's, it's next. It's literally next to a previous campfire. So I am not sure there's any point to this. I, I need two branches that I've got all, already. Like, I need two out of two, not counting this. I've already got a campfire closer to the Lost Sinner, and I've got a campfire close to the... Like, next to the Gargoyle area. I don't think I need this. This might be a case of, I'll come back later if I've got a spare branch or whatever. I can always come back just to 100% the area. And there might be an illusory wall. Or something might happen once I unfreeze this guy. Like, maybe he'll be a special NPC or something? Let's rest. I might as well... I'm not going to be a dick and waste 12,000 souls. I can hear the pe pe I can hear the people crying. <laughs> About me being a noob. So let's spend these souls before I fucking die to these gargoyle bitches again. A, a couple of people have told me armor stats like really don't matter in this game versus the first game. So like, there's like no point. Just wear what looks coolest, sort of a thing. Bearer of the so I don't know what to spend these souls on. Seek the lest this. When it comes to leveling up, it definitely seems a waste to scale things up for damage. So better to go with something like, I mean, my stamina I'm happy with on 110 for now. Uh, equip load is fine, especially with that ring. Um, and I don't even have that ring equipped, actually. So I'm thinking either health or just something that will let me use more spells. Uh, you know what? I am leaning towards trying to dual wield, and that requires on a lot of weapons more strength. I think I've got like two weapons that require 20 strength alone or something like that. So let's just start putting points into strength while I can, you know? Because shit, this shit's getting expensive quick. I can't level up again, can I? I need 8,000. Let's spend a few souls items. I've got loads. Uh... Brave warrior. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Bearer of the seek, seek, lest this lest. land. Seek, seek, lest. We're safe. No new dialogue. Strength. There we go. If I'm to, you know, get 1.5 times stats, I need more dex as well as strength. So I might as well start piling the points into both of them, you know? Strength first. For the, uh... For the halberds, you know. One thousand so. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, jeez. Let's go. How long have we been going? An hour and ten minutes. I've probably got a good ten minutes to cut out. So fifty minutes. Uh, well, an hour. How the fuck have I been really going an hour and ten minutes? I haven't done anything. I've failed to battle the fucking pursuer. That's what I've done. <sighs> Jesus. Let's get this shit done first time. Not even full health. Let's have some balls. I will do a few checks for illusory walls just in case I've missed something. Oh, fuck's sake. Calm down, sir. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. 
Right, do not lose any health for fuck's sake. Before I get to the gargoyles. My game plan with your gargoyles is kill one kind of as fast as possible. Because I've got a feeling it's like a DPS check. Kind of like the four kings in the first game. Just I think it's time uh, sensitive when they attack you. You know what, I'm just going to go for this. F fuck everything. Let's just go for it. I might even want to get some ranged attacks. They seem sen extra sensitive to it, honestly. Have I got three on me already? I fucking do, you know. I wasn't honestly. I was not expecting three that that quick. I need to wait for them to land that jump. That's right. Okay, I am gonna ranged attack, but I'm gonna. I'm trying my best here to keep an eye on which one has the lowest health. Right, that's one dead. We're doing good. Ow, oh, he got me, fucker. I just need to get my hits where I can get them. Oh, he got me. See, I'm rolling too early on that, you know what I'm saying? Eee. So these are basic bitches. Understood. There. Oh yeah, I was rolling way too early. It's all good. Shit. You missed both of you. You suck. You suck. So does my camera skills, apparently. Baiting attacks is definitely the way to go, right? That's the one that's weak. Um, I don't know if you- shit. I don't know if you can go around the- Whoa, you fuckers! Oh, this is such a pain, this fight. And it's just because of the fucking... The fact that there are loads of them. <gasps> oh! If you unlock on mid-spell cast... That's, that's interesting. Oh, shit. I've killed one. Have I killed... No, I didn't. I missed him. Shit. Right. Okay, we're out of ranged uh, with the spell cast anyway. That's fine. That's fine. Right, there's only two remaining. Please tell me there are only four and not six. Fuck it out. Can I just say, I am not a fan when there's of of what I think of as artificial difficulty just by being multiple enemies in a boss fight. 
I, I so prefer when there's only one enemy and it's just a, a tougher single enemy. I've always thought of multiple dudes in a boss fight like this to be, it's almost like artificial difficulty. At least I've killed two of the four though. That's a bonus. But I've got to rely on melee shit now. I've just got to get... I've just... There is more... Oh my god. There's like six. All I've got to do is be patient and work on the same one. I've just got to work on the same one. And bait and get attacks in when I can. But yeah, there you go. If I see an opening, go for it. And recognize when I don't have to roll. Do you like my shitty running comment here on this fight? I'm trying to focus and not get distracted here. I apologize. Bait attacks. Bait attacks. Bait attacks. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh! Ooh, I've noticed a downgrade from the first game. In the first game, when you roll and do the, the follow-up attack after the roll, you can, you can switch direction and do the hit. In this game, it just does the hit in the same direction that you roll in. Does that make sense? So I can't do a quick, cheeky follow-up after the roll, which is a bit of a shame. I'm getting cheeky. That one's nearly dead, though. If I can kill that last one there. Bait and attack. Bait attacks. Come on. Bait attacks. Fucking hell. You swooping, whooping bastards. That's the one I want to kill right there. Um. I don't know what the fuck I pressed then, but I didn't press jump. Right, get stamina back. Get stamina back. Get stamina back. That's too much fire, sir. That's the one I want to kill. Oh my god. This is Avim. Avim, take some damage if I need to. There, right. That's three done. Please tell me no more are going to spawn. Right, that one's weaker. Kill that one. He nearly got me then. Honestly, I'm just going to get whichever ones I can afford to hit. <laughs> these guys are stupid. <laughs> they're, they're, they're making elementary mistakes, these guys. Unlike me, I'm a consummate professional. Oh, fuck. You know, he should be doing fire damage to his friend. Fucking hell, man. Right, got him. Stamina, get stamina. Get stamina immediately. Fuck you. First time today. <laughs> First attempt today. Ooh. 20 fucking... I came into this fight with the... Uh, I want to say 2,000 souls. I think that's 25,000 souls. That's really good. So that was... It was more than four, because I, I was hoping it would stay at four enemies, but then another one came in. So that was five, was it not? Or was it six? I was terrified for the, for a second there when that um, 
fifth one came in, I thought, shit, it's actually every single statue, so there's going to be like nine of them. <sighs> oh! <sighs> oh! Fucking hell, what's with my guy trying to kill himself? <sighs> right, that door's uncovered. Okay, great. Can I kill these? I just don't trust them, man. Let's check every nook and cranny. Especially edges. I've been told in the comments that I'm a basic bitch with edges. <laughs> so, let's cease to be a basic bitch. Oh, is it just the empty pedestals? Hang on, you can count them. One, two, three, four, five. Huh. In here, get off me. Hmm. Well, it's not waste town. Let, let's uh. Sorry, I just. I'm fucking shaking. I've got adrenaline, man. Can you blame me? Five motherfuckers breathing fire, lunging over you. Fortunately, it turned out they were all basic bitches. I've got fucking clingy hairs clinging to me. Fuck off. I'm literally stressing so much. I'm losing my fucking hair. Okay. That's Dark Souls. Ooh, I can't... Right, okay. Point of no return. What's my reward? A bonfire? And a southern ritual band. Ooh, it looks nice. Southern ritual band. Allows attunement of additional spells. I'm guessing that's one spell slot, or it'll, it would be too powerful. Um, it contains very powerful magic. To, Im to imagine what unspeakable deeds were performed to create such rings, on uh, one need only recall the cruel fate of the resi res res residents, the residents of Aldia. Okay. I tell you, that's uh, considering I'm not a magic build and I haven't sunk a shitload of points into attunement. That might be extra handy for me, especially. With these great arrows, I've only got like eight uses or something. Not the... or 15 or something. Compared to the 30 uses of the weaker one. Now, if I use that... Mm, if I wear that ring in place of my poise ring... Uh, or even the ring of restoration isn't all that... Um, but if I put that on, I, I bet I've got two slots. I must rest at this and then go on the attunement -y thing. Yeah, that ring is maybe not worth it for a magic user. Who's already got a shitload of slots. But if I've got an empty one, look, I can just use extra shit now, just, just like that. Hush, sound by caster. Force emits a forward moving shockwave. And I can just use this right... Uh, I can't use it. I don't have the int requirement. Right, but I can put that on. You know... Do I want to sacrifice the enemy poise ring? Oh, shit. The stamina is, is necessary. That gives me more damage. That might not be necessary. I bet it's barely any da extra damage. Life ring is very slow, but might be nice. Um, mm, and but the thing is, I can't take that that ring off. Oh, here's a test. If I take the ring off, I'm guessing I lose one of these spells. But then, if I put the ring back on, do I have to attune it again, or do I just get the spell back again? Right, I lose the second slot that you get from the ring. Okay. Ah, oh, shit balls, man. Makes sense. It does make sense, but that's kind of a pain. So I can't just uh, <laughs> whip it back on when I want the spells. No, you lose the attunement. Makes sense. Fuck's sake. Um, I'll tell you what. I'm going to take off that very slow healing ring in favor of a poise breaking. And we'll we'll use this and we'll see how we go. Dude. 
it's just one slot, but that's given me like 66% extra spell uses. W weaker uses, to be fair. But still, I get a free 30 weak spells to throw. You know, that's a lot of extra spellage. Okay. Before we leave this place forever, I'm going to go speak to the imp guy again. And then just make sure we've got absolutely everything around here. Oh, there's extra shit. Lots of extra shit. Okay. Well, I'm not a fuckwit, right? I've got 27,000 souls. L let's let's shut down these sucking balls before it even begins. Let's spend the souls. Let's not be a fuckwit. I might be able to afford going straight, straight to 20 strength here and now. I might not be able to afford it just. I'm sure I might sink a fuckload of souls into faith once I get sort of uh, a bit further in the game and get some hexes. But until then, until I need that shit, fuck it. Oh, the craftsman's hammer needs twinkling titanite. That's the first thing I've seen. And in the first game, everything that used twinkling titanite was just awesome. Just automatically high damage and awesome. Mm. I think I'm just going to spend this shit leveling up, honestly. I've kind of bought everything I want to buy. Um, forgive me real quick. I just want to speak to the blacksmith one last time. Just to make sure there's nothing I want to buy. I remember there's nothing on the beard drinking guy down in the uh, old man's wharf. Or no man's wharf. That I want to buy from, so... It's just this guy, and there's nothing I want to buy. So, bastard sword is... I've already got one, I think. Great axe, 32 fucking strength. I don't even have the strength to, to two-hand that and use it, for fuck's sake. Winged spear, scythe. I'm guessing some of these might be really good to use. You, oh, you can just see it. That's, I believe, that is physical reduction on the right over the yonder. That's the first shield in the game. I, I checked this before starting this recording. Let me show you what I checked. Because this, this is a momentous, important occasion right here. Physical reduction is top right. 75% reduction. 75, 80, 85, 90. The best shield I've got 75, is 95. Oh, that's the shield, Archdrake's shield, that I didn't see. I read the robe, but not the shield. Let's read the shield. The dragons and great original purposes. Da, 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 da. The shield itself is highly functional. Same description. Uh, select few are given access to their canon of knowledge, which includes the truthful origins of the Archdrake sect itself. Okay, that's a very cool looking shield with its little wings on, by the way. But it's 95% reduction. This is the first shield with 100% katana in one hand, shield in the other. I to flip. You know, I had a few people shitting me on the, in the first playthrough because I, I rely too heavily on shields, a lot of people said. Um, when I was not using said uh, Black Knight Sword, because I would two-hand that. Um, but th there's something to be said about just, just soaking in shit. And if I've got, like, increased stamina recovery, etc., it plays into the blocking more. Um, but fuck me, it's only 2,400. I'm not gonna not buy that. Why is that so cheap? It's got, across the board, pretty decent magical resistances. Curse resistance 45 as well, by the way. Okay. Flame. Deal flame. Right. 
My only problem now is weight, because I've got all sorts of shit equipped that I want to keep equipped. Um, let's put it on and see if we can get to a, a weight position that we're happy with. I want my physical stuff in the first slot, then we'll have our magical stuff in the second slot, etc. And then I don't even have pyromancy equipped, so I don't even need to, to put that on. I don't think I'm going to go pyromancy in this game like I did in the first. But with the faith scaling and, um, you know, I just don't feel it as much. So let's not even equip it. My weight is 74. Since I've got two spells on, I don't really need to waste ammo on that. So let's take that off. And we're under 70%. Nice. Okay. Now I lose the damage. Let's just practice against these little dog bitches. Let's kill one of them. No, it's, oh, it's not as much damage, but you know. You can't win them all. Alright, that's, that's fine. Just a, bit of, just a bit of bleed. Dude. Fuck. Hang on, hang on. They're starting to get ape shit. Okay. Ha, <laughs> you missed. Alright, okay. Let me see how much stamina it blocks. These are only weak attacks, to be fair. To be fair. One word for you. One fucking word. Chloranthi. Motherfucker. I'm getting the stamina back basically fat. Um, almost as fast as I'm losing stamina. This shield should cost 20,000 souls from that, from the blacksmith. That's way too cheap for the first 100% physical reduction shield you find in the game. Right, ladies and gentlemen. With, with certain... <laughs> let's, let's go back to our next location, which is the... Uh, I'm going to make sure I've got everything up yonder. And there's some stuff to loot and stuff, so let's um, get back to Majula. Level strength a little bit. Or whatever. Um, I, want, I do want to get strength to 20. And then I'll start putting points into decks, I think. Then we'll loot the rest of the uh, Bastille area with the imps. Bearer of the curse. Then we'll go to the dragon. So seek the lest this okay. What was I going to say? Fuck me, lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, okay, so when it comes to slightly less damage by one-handing the sword, and it is only slightly less damage, you don't lose much by going one-handed. There is so much more you get from, have, to, from being able to block 100% physical. It outweighs the loss of damage in my opinion. So I might go two-handed in certain situations when I just want to loll about with a, with, you know, a two-handed weapon or whatever. But most of the time, it's it's just clearly better to one hand and have this shield on. It just is. I'm sorry. Now let's use a little item and level up one more time. I know we're all about that power stanson. Um, but any weapon, right, eight, that, so that spear needs 18 decks to even fucking one hand it. Halberd I can do now with one hand. I could equip a halberd and a shield. So that needs decks, decks, everything decks. Strength is now fulfilled. Shitload of strength needed. Um, honestly, I'm all about that hybrid, so I'm going to take dex now to 20 as well. Um, so let's use a thing. Okay. That's enough. That should just be enough. Bearer of seek, seek, lest this. Seek, seek, lest. Level up. I kind of... It's a bit silly, but I kind of want a jack of all trades. I want to... I want the strength and dex requirements for pretty much all these weapons, so I need both anyway, so I'll just take them up equally. 
Let's go. I may not have accomplished much so far in the like two hours I've been going. Or hour and a half. But I feel like I've made a lot of progress. I've got two spells available. I've got a fucking... Hello. I did not see that there were 70 dogs down here. I only saw two before. Oh, that's a bad thing. Um... Can I... Oh, the ladder's blocking me. I was gonna, like, try and sp fling some spells down there. I can't. Right, I've just gotta fast travel before they get on my ass. Go, 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 go. Shield up. Kill this one. Oh, fuck you. Let's kill the dogs while I can. I've done good. I've killed so many. I'm doing so well. I'm proud of myself. I'm actually proud. That's fine. Take a bit of damage. I've killed all but one dog. This is absolutely excellent. I want to run up the stairs. And we're going to heal to full. We're not going to panic. I'm going to take a bit of damage. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Kill the dog. Kill the fucking dog. Where is he? Fuck's sake, I really want that dog to die. Come on. Vogel the sinner can fuck himself. Okay, th this pathfinding's fucked. Let's get up here and then... Oh, come on, that's a little bit wonky, isn't it? Fuck, kill him. I'm gonna heal again. Oh, fuck. Okay, this is my first proper fight with a shield. I need to actually fucking block, though. Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, did you see that? He tried to shield block me. Oh. Gotta shake off the shield cobwebs. I haven't used a shield since Dark Souls 1. But yeah, they, he was trying to shield break me, which is, uh, it sort of makes sense. Come on, stamina. Come on, stamina. Gotta let my stamina come back. It's all gravy. Oh, <gasps> you fucker! Ooh, oh, he, did you see how fast he did that shield break after another attack previous? Okay, right. He can do those light stabs forever. He did like three in a row then, for fuck's sake. Well, I take, I take, oh, yeah, ooh, to do my spells, I've got to switch now. I forgot about that little detail. That makes it a little extra complicated, doesn't it? Have some spells, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, he's blocking him. You little fucker. Oh, get fucked. Get slapped in the ass. Vogel, the sinner. That's what you get for all your sins, bitch. Oh, hang on, what did that just say? I missed that. Um, was there a met? Oh, shit, what did that say? Shit. Right. That's something I'll have to check the uh, tapes back. I had no idea what that message just said, and I just hit OK. Dragon Tooth, that's a weapon. Petrified something. Let's read these before I forget what the fuck I'm getting. I got another thing. Petrified something, okay. I've got three of those now and I still don't know what the fuck. They are, maybe I've got to drop them and depetrify them or something. Right, Dragon Tooth. That a... Uh, Oh my god, 313 fucking damage! Even the epic high damage craftsman's hammer is only 166. The fuck? Um. What is this? Great hammer. 
Craftsman hammers. Right, okay, so the, the, those are just hammers. The big old club in this are a great hammer. That's odd. The basic ass looking large club is A strength scaling. This is D. But it just has way more damage right off the bat. A giant dragon tooth used as a great hammer. As solid as a boulder. This tooth is said to be taken from a dragon, but the truth is of this claim is unclear. What is certain is that it bears some mis mystical power, and its wielder gains resistance to magic and fire. Huh. That might be nice, running through the, fu the dragon's fire, and I think we're done with this area. So I do believe that's going to be next on my list. Okay, can I see how much my fire goes up by... Okay, why, why are all my numbers zero? Okay, fire defense is 54. 54. Uh, magic as well. Hang on, what's my magic resistance? Sorry about this. Da, 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 da. 92, 54. Maybe I don't get them because I don't. I can't wield it effectively. Right, it's the same. Do I have to actually wield it? <laughs> what the fuck? Dragon's tooth. Is that the root of the tooth, and I'm holding the tip of the tooth, or is it the other way around? Because that, if that's a tooth, how big is the fucking mouth of that dragon? 9254, right, so I don't get the effect unless I wield it with the appropriate stats. Gotcha. Well, what's it need? 50 fucking... Let's just take that off and never worry about it again. Alright. If only you could wield it effectively, eh? Without the stat requirement. Ooh, that's my second um, infused weapon I've got. I've already got a fire sword. That one. And I've got an enchanted falchion. Um, is that my first curved sword? It is. I've got my first curved sword. Oh, dude. Damage. Uh. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, and I can equip it, so that's fine. What's the move set with this? Let's go two-handed. Oh, it's just as flourishy as the first game. Dude. Although it is different. Let's try one-handed. Oh, that's the same. That's the exact same as the first game. I think. Yeah, because the, the first attack with the Queen-like Fury Sword was down from the top right to the bottom left just like that it was the same is it is it the thing a uh oh no the shield break was a twirling weird thing um yeah the shield break is different okay okay oh. that's got three loss of scaling hmm well, I like that, and I'll be honest with you. Right, it's 120 plus 47. Right, I was getting confused with the damage numbers. That's 172 plus 70. Well, I'll stick with your katana for now. One last check for illusory walls. I think we're good. Let's get out of here. I mean, yeah. You never know. Let's check. Let's talk to MP one last time and then go to Dragonland. I assume there's a way of running through the fire or past the fire or whatever. All the dogs back again? Yep. 
Well, hey, that's two invaders they've killed. Uh, let me know in the comments, if you would, how you've... Oh, hang on, I can't actually run back. Okay. Let's go back to that room. <laughs> let me know how you feel about my use of a shield. Or just generally the use of a shield. Because you've got to agree with me here. It's like next level. Once you get 100% physical, you're, you're laughing. It's just a cakewalk after that. Like half the shields in the first game had 100% physical. Like half of them, literally. And after getting my first 10 shields and none of them not one of them had 100% physical. I figured, right, they've learned from their mistakes. And they've nerfed shields a little bit. So you always take some damage. Nope. Right. I will go back up to the bell. Well, let's climb to the top. Ringing that alt. Right, I'm gonna jump up there. No. Ringing the bell just uncover, uh, unlocked the door to get to the boss. Um, hang on, it's upstairs. Can I jump down that? Yes, I can. Right, hang on. I see. Yeah! Stuff! Stuff. I haven't seen a trap like chest in this game yet, by the way. Blue tear stone ring. Is that going to be that's something to do with magic? Surely. Increases def oh, defense when HP is low. Uh, interesting, but. Hey, I'm too skilled. I don't even need defense. Forg right, forgive me for this. You, it does seem that you've got to be pretty accurate with uh, with illusory walls in this game. Judging by how I missed that first one I uncovered today. And that, that stain, how much does that stain on the wall look like a wall? Mm. Skeptic Spice, that's uh, lowering the requirement but weakening the spell, isn't it? Oh, fuck that. Okay, let's go upstairs. I wish I had an angel for one moment of love. I wish I had... don't know the lyrics. Do -do 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 -do. You know, honestly, the, the whole shield thing now is such a game changer. I can go behind and do backstabs now. What was that? Fuck! Oh my god. Did one of the- did he just heal? Okay, I'm- okay, let's not die here. I'm not dying here. Are, they, are these like physical resistant? Because I'm doing like fuck all damage to them. Like, regardless of the fact that I'm one-handing the weapon. Yeah. Another rusted coin. I've got like four of those already. The fact I can now block safely against anything but a magic enemy means I can now sidestep them and backstab them easier. So that I've got backstabbing is back on the menu, boys. I've got 100% reduction. I've got stamina to help me out. And now I'm thinking of putting even more points in stamina. I already wanted to for the uh, for the stamina, so I can attack more. But now I can block more if I also put points in stamina. People people have been telling me this game is basically easier than than the first game. It's now even easier. 
Right, that is just simply the door, isn't it? Or can I ring the bell for no reason? Okay. Right, so that's us ringing the bell for no reason. A ring a ding ding. Fuck's sake! I'm gonna I'm gonna climb down. I think we're done here. We've done. Right, I need to heal before. <sighs> Fuck me. Before I go down the ladder. Let's be fast about this. Let's just take some hits. I'll just take some hits. It's fine. Just, I can take a. Right, okay. I don't care how painful it is to take an arrow to the shoulder. You would not just let go and kill yourself by falling. If in real life, think about it, if you were grasping hold of a ladder for dear life, you, you could get shot by a bullet and not let go if you knew it was certain death beneath you. Well, I want those 3,000 souls back, motherfucker. And then... Um, I've got branches of yore to use, but... We are going to the place next. Oh, hang on, have I gotta... Have I gotta go back up? To get my fucking souls. <sighs> I do, don't I? Let's kill these, because the last thing I want... He fucking hit me. All oh, right, you little bastards, you little squirmy shits. Oh shit, don't hit the barrel. Oh, I'm not backstabbing him. Oh, interesting. Huh. I know you can do backstabs mid-fight, so that's weird. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, what a waste of time. Let's... Right, heal. <laughs> Climb real fast and we can get the souls and just go straight back down. Straight back down. In fact, no, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Go. <sighs> I'm glad I didn't get shot off and die again, then. I think I'd have uninstalled. <sighs> right, let's get back to where I need to be. Can you tell your little impy friends to stop fucking attacking me, please? <sighs> Honest to God, I can afford... I can afford another level up before we, uh... commit to, to dying to dragon. Bearer, seek, seek, lest. How many points do I need? Eight, seven. I should have that in terms of items. Um, if I don't, I'll just kill a couple of pigs, kill a couple of dudes, and we'll come back. Oh, hang on, no, no, I don't need to use nearly that many. Okay. Use one of those. I didn't accidentally use a fucking, like, boss soul then, did I? Bearer of the curse. Don't think so. Seek so seek lest. I'll keep going into decks. And it's just giving me more stuff, more damage with my katana anyway, you know, passively, so... It's fine, it's still giving me something. Cool. Let's go. So, uh, Hyde's Tower, Hyde's Tower of Flame. Yes. Whew. Hey, by the way, we're back to being like the, the height of summer. It's 33 degrees in here right now, Celsius. Which isn't much for an American or whatever, but pff, fuck me. No AC, no AC, it's pretty fucking hot, so I'm sweating like a bastard. Now I'm just gonna run past half of these fuckers, honestly. Considering I know they just stop following you after a certain amount of time. 
let's just go for it. Uh, right, we're gonna go go for this. Oh god, this might this might have been a mistake. I might just have to run past the dragon to the best of my abilities. Right, that guy's not coming at me. I need him to come at me because I can't get past him. Yeah. I'm going to push the top up there and we'll see what's on my ass. If there's too much, I'm just going to run at the dragon. Like, literally. In fact, we're just going to do it, you know. I've got too much shit on me. Too much shit on me, too much shit on me. We've got too much shit on me. Where are we going? What are we doing? I think he's nearly dead, you know. Um. Right, I'll be honest with you. Given my history of... of given my wealth of experience running away from motherfuckers because I'm a pussy, I really thought most of those guys would have given up and, like, walked backwards to their posts earlier than they did. I wasn't expecting nine motherfuckers to follow me up to Dragonland. Um, let's, oh, fuck. This is bad. This is, this is some bad shit. Oh, I can't inter- Oh, shit. There's another one up here. I'm well aware of that. Let's heal. Right. <sighs> Base, okay. Right. Have I taken the poise breaking ring off? Because I am not breaking these silver guys poise like I, I'm sure I was. You follow me? Oh God. Have him, have him. Right, okay, I can kill this one relatively easy. This is bad. I can't even see, man. Have him, have him. Gotcha. Right, okay, all good. Let's not rest. Okay, just panic over. Um, I need the bathroom, so we're, I'm going to hide without resting and visit the bathroom. But yeah, I figured a lot of those would have given up sooner than they did. If they did, I'd have been fine killing the dragon, because I caught a quick glimpse of his health. One fucking hit and I'd have killed the dragon. So it's not a major boss like I thought it was. So I've got this. I just need to kill all motherfuckers on the way there for the last time. Clear the area, and then we'll kill the dragon. I'll uh, I'll be right back. Whew. Right, I have returned. Um, should I go human? Because I'm down to. Oh, let's kill this fucker. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down to what? Seventy-five percent health. And I do have a dragon to kill. You know what I'm saying? So, why not? Oh, I broke his poise then. Do you see that? Uh, right. Okay. I'm dead. <laughs> I swear to God above, I was breaking the poise of these guys with the, with light attacks. That that there at the end was a was a strong attack, it was a power attack, and he, it didn't even stumble him. So. I'm starting to think... Oh, I do have it on, don't I? Yeah, okay. Never mind. I thought I took it off in favour of... Uh, the magic attunement ring, but no, I took something else off. Well, I've got... I've 
got full uh yeah i've got on everything i want on i guess i just can't break their poise like i thought i could that's fine oh i know what it is there we go i know what it is when i've fought these guys in the past i've always used a halberd and that just has more damage and more poise you know I've just these right. These are significantly harder to kill now because I can't break their poise. Fucking hell! Right, these guys are crazy if you can't break their poise. Yeah, these guys are crazy. Can I get, like, around them easier? I want to try and backstab them. <laughs> Mid-fight. Come at me. There. Fuck you, sir. Right. Stamina. There we go. Right, if I can just game the system... <laughs> if I can just f fuck them completely... That'll be a great help. Right, ooh, hang on, no, no, right, hang on, I don't want them all at the same time, fuck it now. I'm hoping little fuck has, has gone away. You know, these guys are, are pretty cool. If you swing your weapon in the direction that they have their shield, even if they're not, like, actively blocking, it still blocks you. Which is pretty real- very realistic, actually. It's got directional blocking without the need of, like, an actual block mechanic. Dude, I can block all their damage with ease. Unless they break my shield, you know. Oh, fuck. Hang on, back off. Fucking hell, they can... They can spin on the spot, these guys, like crazy. <gasps> um... Okay, I've just noticed a fucking big deal here. My stamina is recovering while I'm blocking. Dude! Fucking hell. Are you kidding me with these guys? Fucking hell. I'm I'd, I'm I'm getting fucked here. Even with a shield for fuck's sake. They're, they're fall have you seen have you seen how fast their follow-ups are? Even after a combo and it's safe to attack them. They then counter-attack you in half a second. Fucking hell, these are dangerous. Right, yeah, in the first game, when you, even with the Chloranthia ring, when you were blocking, you did not get stamina back. That's a fact. I know it was, because that's all I did for the entire game. It was blocking. You always had to unblock and run around to get your stamina back. In this game, you get stamina back... Oh, fuck. You crazy bastard. <sighs> Calm down, fucker. Jesus. I'm gonna spell... Uh... Fuck! Okay, so the silver fuckers are, are honest to god too dangerous. I'm gonna use my uh, staff and kill them from range. They're crazy. I wonder if strike works well. I mean, for two reasons. Raw damage with a couple of the weapons. But also, like, armored enemies. I'm sure strike works well against them. 
If I can get a silver boy alone, I'll equip the craftsman's hammer from the blacksmith. Oh shit, right, we've got one on us. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, there we go. Keep walking. Why am I not using my weak arrows? I've no idea, but right, come at me, fucking hell. How right, how fast can I equip a weapon? Help if I was on the Help, help, help if I was on the right fucking screen. I am overweight, probably. Maybe, because I've got both weapons on now. I can still block. Attack's fine. Nope. It's it's weaker, if anything. I might try a power attack. Oh, fucking hell. Right, okay. Attack me now, motherfucker. J j you try. You just fucking try. You're fucked, sir. Oh! oh! Why are they so strong? One more. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Fucking hell. They're simple with a spell. Right, question for the comments. Is a magic build laughably easy in this game? Because half of these guys are just like basic bitches in the face of just a simple long range spell. They, they turn shit. Because these guys who are so dangerous, like close range, they've got instant, instant counter attacks after their full combo. They, they, they lunge at you. They're so dangerous at close range. You know? Well, oh god, I, right, I've got a problem here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a problem. I can't believe that fucker comes at you just as soon as you step up from being rested at the bonfire. He's just automatically coming at you. I w mm, I'm guessing guard countering isn't a thing in this game. Didn't guard counter, um, you know, when you're blocking and you can immediately attack afterwards. I think that came in from Bloodborne, did it not? And then it was in the Elden Ring. Should I try to parry? You know, I completely forgot about the existence of parrying. Um, or is that just absolutely stupid at this point? Fuck you, sir. Fuck you. Okay, I've just got to keep trying to... I am going to go human, because I'm, I'm, I'm getting close to half health here, and I reckon I've got this now. I can't believe I've got to go through all of these every time. And they can just fuck you. Just automatically fucked. Let's use a basic life gem, because I've got loads. Let's get back to full health. Gotcha. Well, okay, it's fine. It's fine. You can block most attacks from these big ones except the overheads. That's stat. That's textbook. That's te Come on! Fuck. I'm just gonna have to tr really, really try to get right behind them to do the backstab. The uh, attack, you know? Oh. 
There. Right, it doesn't kill them, but it makes it a lot easier. Fucking hell! Oh, I don't like tough enemies that you can't poise break easily. Tough fuckers. <laughs> tough fuckers. I'm tempted to jump, because I, I know I, I do that a lot, and I've had a couple of people say don't, like, jump cut, because they want to see all this, but I'm just trying to get to the dragon before the episode is over. But this is just basic enemies and me failing repeatedly. Is that really entertaining? Right, okay, the lunge attack is doing less damage than a light attack. Like my power attack is the lunge with one hand. Is it because it's thrust? It's slash, slash and thrust. I'm getting strong feelings here, like thrust is weak against big fucks or armored. I don't, I can't, I don't know what they are, armored or big or whatever. I might have hit his shield, that's the thing. It might have simply been his shield that blocked the attack. Dude, I'm blocking normal attacks here like a fucking gangster. Dude. Right, where is this fucker? I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna waste nothing, I'm gonna just spell this fucker. Oh! Is it that guy that came at me? Through just ages of walking around, I think it is. Let's, let's use some simple weak shit. This guy doesn't have a shield. I can fuck him. Oh god, bad. I was far enough then. Come on now. I don't mind using some of my weak shit. Uh, these guys are coming at me now. Oh, fuck. Okay, um... Let's put my great arrows on and my shield on here. I've got that small fucker coming at me as well. The fucking range of these guys! Honestly, just use what I've got. Straight up, use my spells if I've got them. Just use anything. As long as they're not going to block my attack, it's all good. <laughs> Whoo, you fuckers. You fuckers. Oh, that, see that damaged through his shield. Let's just shield this one. I'm not even sure what I looted. I was too busy shitting pants. Now, where's this small fucker? Can't believe how strong some of these are. There he is. Right, let's fuck him before that other one gets on me. These, these guys see you from so far away. Over here, you little bastard. You fucker. They do get staggered every now and then. It's like every other hit, so I'm guessing uh, the way poise works in this game, it's like a, a cumulative bar that goes down with every one of your hits, and once it's empty, they get staggered. And I guess there's no, like... I think that's exactly what it is. I think there's basically a hidden bar that you can't see. And maybe given enough time, it slowly re recovers. So if you don't hit them again soon enough, it just slowly fills back up again. I think I'm right there. Okay, okay. We're doing good. I've got no big good ones left. I think that's pretty much perfect.
You stay back, sir. <laughs> you suck. Okay, I have to. Just because I can. I've got to see if I can s actually snipe. Right, I need the center of my monitor here. That looks to be exactly center. Let's make micro adjustments. Slightly left. There's probably maximum range as well. Yeah, th there must be maximum range. That's fine. It's fine. There. Come on, come at me. It's a shame that there's a maximum range. I don't think the same applies to arrows, does it? Because that, look, that looks like a room. And that looks like pretty shit construction. There's no cement or mortar or anything between these bricks. Right, fucker. I suspect this was the one that got me killed as well. Uh, I want him to come at me here without me triggering the, the boss for the first time. Because once he sits up... His fire is much faster. The only reason I ran to him that time was because he was asleep still. So let's... Yeah. I need to pull this guy before without going up the stairs. There you go. In the face! In the face! In the face, sir! In the face! In the balls! In the mouth! You're my bitch. I wipe my balls with you, sir. I've got one soul arrow left. Okay. Four flasks. Um, I don't need to shield against this thing. I've just got to dodge his foot and its breath. I want maximum stamina until... About there. Go, 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 go. That's right. Wake, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey, you big dumb, dim, dumb dragon bitch. No! Why was he so fast to respond this time? Ah. Oh. Uh, why did I have less stamina this time? I even I even started running later this time just to make sure. Oh fuck knows. Right. Uh, th I'm sorry. This is one of those cases. I'm just going to skip for you guys. It's it, it's the same shit. You're not missing out on anything. I'll do my best not to die. Um I'll see you on the other side when we're back at the dragon again. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. As you can see, we're back again with no Estus flasks remaining. <sighs> and I've got like fuck all health. I'm going to have to just Life gem. Um. Yeah. You can't see this yet, but the the souls that I dropped will no longer be there because I, I'm sure you can guess why. I died once. And here's the kicker. I died on the first mob. Oh. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. You, you see my souls over there above my head? <laughs> I went back to fight the first guy, just got fucked. I, I really don't like these Silver Knights because of that instant lightning fast counterattack they do. Once they've done a full combo, you attack, they then hit you instantly. It's, it's kind of bullshit. I really don't like that move. Anyway, we're back again. Um, I need to use another one. Should I go? No, let's not go human. I think we're good. I just need to not get breathed on. Oh god. Here we go. 
Right, I've saved my stamina for, for later this time. Let's get him to breathe on the left. There. Fuck your foot, sir. Stamina. Full stamina, please. Gotcha. Fuck you! I mean, you're not the main source of frustration, but fuck you anyway! Let me take your, your bone and your watch dragon palmer ham. What's that? Oh, by the way. I wasn't recording. D again, just to... I, I know I shouldn't do it, but just to save on hard drive space. I wasn't recording, just figuring it was the same enemies. I looted a fucking stone off of um, one of the silver knights. One of the pale boys. Um, da, 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 pale stone, there we go. Removes additional powers from equipment. An altered state of titanite. Use a weapon or shield to undo all imbued powers. This does not revert to reinforcement, but undoes imbued powers such as magic, fire, etc. Cool. Okay. Uh, right. What was it that I just got? Du, 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 du. Seriously, what did I just get? <laughs> um. Oh, fucking hell. Watch Dragon Palmer. Okay, 90% reduction. Automatically, I'm not interested. <laughs> just, you can't beat 100 reduction. Okay, wow, we killed that guy finally. Seriously, what a ball egg. So I lost it. It was only about 8,000 souls or something, but... Hey, I've got 8,000 once again. This looks like a major deal, by the way. Ooh, look at the chains waving. Right, okay, this is either a major fucking boss. Or I don't know, but either way, it's one fucking shitty run back. Wouldn't you agree? Hmm. Didn't I get a second thing off that guy? Was it a soul or something? Nope, it wasn't a soul. I'll, I'll add it. If I've missed something to read, anything in this episode, I'll add it to the list of things. And I'll read it at the start of the next episode. Um, oh, hello. Cathedral of Blue. Old Radiant Gem. Five effigies, okay, right. I've got 8,000 souls. That's a level up. I've already lost 8,000 souls. Do I want to lose a second 8,000 by trapping them in a boss fight that I can't win? <laughs> um, I'm not respawning all this shit. I've got... Uh, the problem is I've got no Estus flasks. Shall I commit to a boss fight with no Estus flasks? I think I might, you know. I think I might. I reckon it's easy to run past the fuckers now that the dragon's gone and get my 8,000 souls back than it is... Well, more than I can be bothered to run back now. <laughs> old Dragon Slayer. Oh. What's the difference between Old Dragon Slayer? Um, hello, Smo look alike. Shield come out. Shield, shit, time to shield. Is this... Is this... I can't... I don't know how to pronounce his name. Smo or Smaug from the first game. As in Ornstein and Smaug. It looks exactly like him. <sighs> By the way, there wasn't any summon sign. I noticed that. I did, I did sort of look out for a summon sign. This must be Sma Smo. <sighs> He's breaking my stamina. Oh, and it's old Dragon Slayer. I'm sure Ornstein and Smao were all about slaying dragons and shit. 
You know what? I might actually rage in life gem in this fight. I reckon I've got him. I reckon it's a basic bitch. Let's do it. Let's use my gems. Let's have some fucking confidence in myself. Get my stamina back. Uh, I wonder if this... I wonder if this is Smo and he's like ancient. You know? He's got his lunge attack. It's the same fucking attack. I want him to lunge at me because it gives him... It gives me a nice big opening after the fact. Oh, whoa, you fucker. Huh? Oh, that went through my shield. He knows that. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Never underestimate a small lookalike. It's got like a cat face. Okay, so that was... I'm sure that went through my shield, by the way. Fucking hell. Hmm. I really can't remember the descriptions of, of, of Ornstein and Smo. I'm sure they had something to do with slaying dragons, though. And this guy's name is Old Dragon Slayer. I'm intrigued. He's got the full moveset of... Uh, of I think I've heard Asmongold pronounce it Smo. What the fuck? I'm saving stamina for when I sort of need it. Let's get this guy to attack at me. There we go. Good, 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 good. And then we'll sure get some stamina back. Let this guy attack. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. We're good. Dude. Yeah. If I didn't have this shield, this would be a completely different fight. Like, completely different. As it is, I think I can block a couple of his, like, four combo. And then I'll have to roll from the second two. I'd like my 8,000 souls back. Can you, in fact, can you lunge at me, thank <gasps> Fucking hell! Dude, I literally couldn't act. I, I could not act fast enough. Attack, please. Dude, that lunge attack is fucking crazy. Come on. Fuck! That is so fast. That's... that's so fast that I could not... My, my brain couldn't send signals to my finger quick enough to hit a, a single button. I died before I could start to tap the roll key. How fast is that? Like, in terms of sh simple definition, that's lightning fast. Only lightning is that fast. Fuck! Oh, fuck off. Would you just fuck off? All these annoying fuck. <sighs> the runbacks in this game are so much worse than the fucking first game. Right, attack me, please. There we go. As long as he's on me. There we go. Okay. I'm tempted to heal before I get in the boss room, honestly. Even though it seems like a waste. I could probably get lunged to death in one go. I've just got to get the souls and then I'm happy, honestly. Let's do exactly that. I've just got five flasks to heal instead. Ugh, fuck off. Goodbye, assholes. You missed. Sort of, sort of. He sort of missed, but he sort of didn't miss. Tit for tat, motherfucker. Oh, he's really slow. He lets you attack him. You see what I'm... 
I need to heal. If I heal right now, he'll... Oh! Stamina. Okay, so he can do magic-like things. <laughs> he can do magic. I wonder if we get to fight like an old version of um, Ornstein. Oh, fuck. I did actually confuse them uh, in the first game, because you, you just get to see both of their health bars and names at the same time, so it wasn't immediately clear which was which. But uh, Ornstein was the big lightning fucker. You f oh god. Oh! Okay, well that... I think I got, I got lucky with a roll there. Because <laughs> that didn't hit me. You ain't nothing. I wipe my balls with you, sir. How did that miss? You see, he lets you get free hits on him. He's a sh this guy's an idiot. You're just an idiot, sir. You need to go back to gladiator school with your big red feather hat. Ow. It's alright, he's not even looking at me because he's an idiot. Fuck! Fucker! No! Hit him! Wiggle! Do something! Wiggle! Do something! Wiggle, 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 wiggle! Wiggle, 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 do 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 A oh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, fuck. <gasps> it could go through pillars! Fucking hell. Fast! Heal! Fuck you. Fuck you, you smo wannabe. He was way tougher than you were. It was my fault that I died. <gasps> right, this guy will kill me. These are so powerful. These are so tough, he will kill me. If I don't heal. He came in just for like an in, in, an insult slash and then he just leaves. Oh well thanks for that. Right. I noticed we got old Leo Ring there. And now the Leo Ring. If memory serves. That's what gave you like 40 poise. It was the 40 poise ring in the first game. And it was something to do with Artorius and Sif. I'm sure it was like Artorius' ring or something. This is intriguing. But it's old Dragon Slayer and it's old Leo Ring. It is. I can see it now on the right side. It's the same Lion Ring. But it's like broken and shit. Strengthens thrust weapon counterattacks. The beloved ring of a Dragon Slaying Knight. After many years of use, the ring's face has worn down, but close inspection reveals an engraved lion. This actually is the ring, isn't it? Like, no bullshit. This is a holdover from the first game. It's worn from many years of use from our dude in the first game, like a thousand years ago or whatever it's, however long it's been. But it gave you poise in the past. This strengthens thrust weapon counterattacks. What the fuck is a counterattack? Right, I might want to experiment with more with shields because I'm sure the only counter I've ever heard of is a guard counter in Elden Ring and I'm sure that came from Bloodborne. Um, I'm sure I heard in a video talking about the various like games. I'm sure guard counters were added in Bloodborne. But that ring just mentioned guard counters. Or thrust counters. What else did I get? Old Dragon Rider Soul. It's funny. We had the new young boy and then we had the old small boy. 
The old dragon slayer is reminiscent of a certain knight that appears in old legends. Use the special soul of the old dragon slayer to acquire numerous... It looks like a lot of old stuff has been forgotten in the lore of this game. Now, is that an NPC out there? Where's that? It must be. Hello? Transient being. Hello, hello. This is no place for one such as you. Nice halberd. Be gone. You are not needed. Well, that's fucking rude. You may have amazing looking armor and an even more amazing looking halberd, but fuck you. Transient being, nothing has changed. You would never make a knight of the blue, and I have nothing more to say. Oh. Be gone. I can join the Blue Covenant. It's already available to me. I I was in it before I changed pointlessly to the Bellkeeper Covenant. Shall I change back and speak to him? Transient. Mm. Be gone. Okay. Okay. I've got an annoying run back to do, but uh, yeah. Cleric's Palmer and a Tower Shield. Palmer hand. What is a Palmer again? Uh. Is it a shield? It is, isn't it? Well, I've got a tower shield. A metal great shield. Very heavy and requiring great strength. Da 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 defense. Da 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 da. Okay. We got the Watch Dragon Palmer before. Cleric's Palmer. A Palmer used by clerics on pilgrimage. Enchanted with the... Blah, 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 blah. Sp oh, spell deflect. Okay. Very little physical defense. It's more, than, more of a lucky charm than a proper shield. Is a Palmer officially like a type of shield in real life? Hmm. Okay. Oh, shit. Another thousand orbs. Well, shall I go do that shit now? After we've gone down here. There might even be a bonfire down here, I guess, so I don't have to do the run back. Uh, run back. There we go. I wonder if this is like a side story and it's got its own like quest to it. If I join the blue boys. Gotta try. Okay. Well, killing a uh, Smo wannabe. I've got twenty-eight thousand souls again. Damn. The Blue Cathedral. Okay. Where do I switch covenants again? Is it the cat, or is it like the bonfire? No. It's not her, is it? Bearer of the seeks seek the lest this. Okay. That tiny, an ancient being that she impart provided you. Okay. Well, um, I think it is the cat. Let's go speak to your said cat. El gato blanco. Are the pig still there? Should kill the pigs for good measure. Kill the little piggies. Thank you for your patronage, kind piggies. Right, cats, I've got a favor to ask. Instill your cat magic upon me. Ooh, she's got blue eyes. I'm sure every other position we've seen. Her eyes were closed. Oh. <laughs> you do have the time. Uh, abandoned covenant because fuck the bell keepers forever. But the blue guys look like they've got some story. Uh, oh, do I have to speak to the actual dude again? I can't do anything on the list of covens. Um. Okay. 
Satisfied? Well, Blue Boy's out here, so let's just go speak to him. And then I guess we'll uh, level decks up to 20. I am sorely tempted to get my stamina from 110 to 120. Hello there. Always. I enter Covenant. Yeah. Thanks for taking me back, sir. I'm sorry I abandoned you. Have you seen that? I don't know what. Besides. Hmm. Okay, leave. Maybe you find peace. Or I've had 63 deaths. I'd love to know how many deaths all of you had if you ever took note on your first ever playthrough. Bear, seek, seek, lest this. Seek, seek, lest. Okay. Right. Well, let's let's just get Dexter 20. Is there anything I desperately want to do? I'm sure somebody said power stancing. You can do like a straight sword and a curved sword. Like it doesn't it doesn't have to be the same type. There are some exceptions, I think. Just some. But like, what if there's like a mace? Uh, uh, a katana. I'm guessing katana doesn't have too many specific cases. No. This is kind of a pain, because it means I've got to go through, like, every type of thing. Let's try a straight sword just to see. No. At least it's easy to see. That was a straight thrust sword. This is just a straight sword. No. Maybe katana is just its own thing. What happens if I just do this? I can't, can I? No. Okay. Nope. Mm -hmm. Um, two maces? I can effectively wield both of those, so... Oh, no. Okay. They're both hammers. Okay, you can't power stance two hammers. I've already done half of this shit at the start of the episode. Nope. Okay. Uh, hang on, I Right, oh! I've just realised I can effectively equip both of these weapons without two-handing. So I would be able to power stance. So you can't power stance two great swords. Okay, I wonder if it's just, like, one-handed weapons, because a greatsword isn't a one-handed weapon. Only It is only if you've got crazy strength, but it's, you know, it's a two-handed weapon. Maybe it's just one-handed then. I've only got... Oh, I've got two regular axes. I don't have any great axes yet. Um, no, that's not a thing either. Ooh. I wonder if power stancing is literally like just a very select few weapons, like swords and curved swords only kind of a thing, and, and daggers, rather than big weapons and spears and shit. Hmm. I don't know. Right, I had the thought of, in the future, power stancing like two halberds. Now that still might be possible, but if all the other weapons are something are something to go by, then I won't be able to power stance two halberds. <coughs> um, I don't want to like go up to thirty strength now, and then it turns out I don't even like need it anyway. Hmm. Ah, uh, I don't know what to spend my points on now. Well, you can't be a good old sword and shield right off the bat. So let's put those back on. Um, yeah, I don't know. Of the seek, so seek lest. You know... <sighs> endurance. Oh, stamina goes up by two. Okay. Mm. 
equip load. Oh fuck, I don't know anymore, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's just take strength and dex both up. Equally. Fuck it. That's everything, let's go back now. To Mr. Blue Boy. Yeah, my, I thought going into this episode you could sort of power stance two of the same type of weapon, you know, etc. just across the board. But if my ex experiments are anything to go by so far, most weapon types aren't power stanceable. I've even tried equipping identical weapons and they, did, they don't power stance, so... Unless power stancing, like two-handing a single weapon, requires 1.5 times stats or something, but it doesn't show that. You can only see that when you two-hand a weapon because that red X disappears, you know, if you just don't have the stats to single-hand a weapon. But there's no way of seeing that with power stancing. Mm. Right, I'm one of you now. If you tell me to fuck off again, I'll kill you. Transient being. You would never be gone. Do I have to put the fucking ring on? I will do. Don't don't challenge me, sir. I can go blue in like seventy ways. Transient be. God, come on. Be gone. Am I? Am I? Or am I not a knight of the blue? I'm one of you. I've got your fucking ring. Well, you know. Okay. Transient be. I wonder if you be gone. I mean, he's literally not doing shit. I wonder if you need like blue armor, a full set of blue armor on or something, and the ring. You know what I mean? So noted. I can always return later. Well, what time is it? Twenty-eight minutes. I've got another hour, maybe an hour and a half to go. Hang on. Uh, one second. Oh fuck! Two hours twenty-four. Uh, right, I've been going three hours. I've got another half hour. Any loot while we're in here? Hmm. I don't think there is. Um. Well, I wasn't expecting to do the dragon and a boss behind the dragon this episode. I'll be honest with you. Um, so let's not waste the last 30 minutes. Let's make some really good progress. I'll remember Mr. Blue Boy is here and he's got cl there's clearly more to do with that guy. Um, in fact, bear with me real quick. Real quick, I'm minimizing bringing up the old list. Um, I'm just going to put reminder section. You can't see this, but reminder section... Blue boy wearing silver, comma, awesome halberd, telling me to fuck off. Dash, uh, come back later if I get more blue boy stuff. Brackets, armor, close brackets. Save. It's funny when the game is, is minimized, I can still control the fucking camera in game. It's weird. Hang on. God damn it. Fuck's sake. That's the problem with minimizing my game. For some reason, I get variable delay on my game screen. Technical problem with recording. There we go. That's sorted. Okay, right. Let's go back downstairs. I wonder if I should just kill him. And take his, like, shiny stuff. I bet you get his halberd by killing him. <laughs> mm. Anyway. So what's next on the list? I've literally... I can't believe I'm about to say this. I've exhausted my to-do list. Because it was basically do old Lost Bastille and the Gargoyles. 
all the shit in Lost Bastille. And then go to Red Dragon, do that. That was it, that was my entire list, so... Right, I've got two branches of yore. I've got one blocking me down uh, near Majula. Um, it was further back, it was up from there. Uh, <laughs> well, fucking right. What do I do? The one down in there or Scotland? Right, it's Hyde's Tower of Hades Tower of Flame, technically, and I've pretty much done this now. So let's do what I did with Lost Bastille. Let's one hundred percent it. Um. Let's go backwards from No Man's Wharf. I think that's the fastest way. Granted, I... Uh, I didn't actually 100% lost Bastille because I didn't de-petrify that fucking thing. In front of the fire. So I didn't get that fire. But it's fine. I think out of all the branches of Yore, Scotland was the first one, and that but that's our main place to go next, so that's got a branch reserved for it. This is the second next one that I found, so this one comes next, in my opinion. There should be a little froggy boy here, let's kill the froggy boy. That's what happens, that's what happens. Okay, here we go. I mean, this might be just nothing. <laughs> but, you know. I won't know until I do it. Oh, I keep forgetting these guys are actually alive. I've just noticed this guy has the hood and cloak on, just like the one in Lost Bastille. Who I thought might have been an NPC, so I guess he's not. Um, hello. Hoping that wasn't a friendly NPC, <laughs> I'll be honest. Okay. Okay. That's seven Estus flasks now. Nice. Are those footprints mine? No, they're not. Huh. Or are they? Okay, that's that door isn't a door, that's fine. Let's check every single chunk of wall. <laughs> uh, nah, that's not gonna be anything. Most walls are on either a very flat wall or a suspicious wall. I haven't yet had one that's just kind of a random chunk of basic ass wall. Oh, right, okay. Knight is always pretty good, but a little too heavy armor in these games. Well, it was worth it. I effectively just traded a branch of yore for an Estus Flask shard. That's fucking worth it. What am I talking about? Of course it is. They are few and far between, so win. And it's been a long time coming. Let's go to Scotland and learn what that, like, area of game is actually called. Because it ain't Scotland. Probably going to be like, like, like the Lost Magic Castle of Yore or some shit. Okay, Majula. Ooh. Now, when it comes to upgrading and stuff, my katana 
is definitely just automatically a favorite. Um, but do I want to just take it the normal route? The, the normal route, or do I want to um, turn it into like fire or mundane, whatever the fuck that is? I haven't seen a raw in this game. I'm wondering if m mundane is raw, so it's like it's way stronger, but it breaks permanently after one use or something like that. Hmm. I'm tempted to do exactly what I did in the first game. Keep the katana normal um, type and take it to plus maximum. See that statue? Gives me the willies. You stare at it for long enough, it starts to look alive. Nice beard, sir. Ah, it just doesn't he seem quite right. There are no craftsmen around these, but hey. Does this guy have a name? Ah, hey. This guy, right? This guy hasn't had like a shop menu, so he, he probably told me his name the very first time I spoke to him, but I, I didn't take it on board. He's either a friendly summon or he's going to be a boss at some point with that fucking sword. Look at that fucking thing. That's exactly like the glass weapons from Skyrim. <laughs> right, okay, these fuckers will attack me. Come at me. See if I give a fuck. Take your time. Oh, I'm getting poisoned. Fuck off. You too, you want any? Oh, I'm slashing his buttocks, I'm sorry. I didn't even give him time to put some clothes on. Right, here we go. Okay, that's both branches gone. I'm now officially maidenless and branchless. <gasps> right, two out, two out of. <sighs> I'm poisoned. Am I trapped? Yes, I am. Okay. Right. Okay. So just, just what the fuck is a man to do when he's faced with a beautiful lady? who's not attacking me and then I've got four poisony boys who are attacking me and a frog eyeing me up and down nastily what's a man to do what the fuck is she still going to be there or have I just like, wasted my opportunity now <laughs> fuck's sake that was a lesson in stamina management there's no point trying to block from four of these guys so I need to two-handed just do as much damage as possible. I need to be rolling and sprinting, so I need stamina. Whew. Oh, she's here now. Oh, she's gonna... She's, she witnessed me suck ass in. And she's gonna say I suck now. Hello. Um... My name is Rosabeth. Rosabeth. Thank you so much. For rescuing me. Oh. I didn't rescue anyone. I died. I hope I didn't miss any dialogue when she was in there. And now she's fast travelled to here. Oh. You're that traveller. I still haven't thanked you. I mean... Well, I'm quite a hand at pyromancy. Oh. So perhaps... Prism stone. I was attacked and turned to stone, I think. Oh, right, she was the thing blocking the... Life. Right. If you had not come... Oh, I feel shameful wearing these rags. I've got various clothes for you. Well, let's just take a little look here. Okay, so, right, makes sense. She was what was blocking the thing turned to stone. Okay. I didn't notice when I got attacked by all the four fuckers and turned around. I missed her... Coming alive and standing up. 
But where have those guys gone now? Let's have a look at that prism stone. That's odd. She mentioned, like, pyromancy and then gave me a non-pyromancy sort of item. Um. Yeah, prism stone. Okay. Um, I oh. hate to burden you further, as you've already saved my life. But, just look at me. <laughs> she actually wants new clothes. My clothes are in tatters. Do you have any clothing that you could spare? Um... I'll take anything. Whatever you don't need. I'm not particular when it comes to apparel. Well, she's a pyromancer. Anything at all will do. You can... I was talking shit. Put it on the ground. And I'll change into it later. <sighs> okay. Oh, fuck it now, right? You can up your pyromancer here. For a thousand? Okay, and a fire seed. That's what's needed, I believe, to make a fire weapon as well. Okay. Be safe. I was just, as always, talking shit. Just being silly and being f being a funny man. When I was saying, sh let's give her some clothes, you actually fucking can. Like, oh my god. <laughs> so, well, let's think about it logically. She's a pyromancer. She's not having my clothes. But... What sort of clothes would a pyromancer need? They're usually squishy sorcerers, so I reckon she could do Ooh, shall I put her in a full night set? Or like a wanderer set or something. Oh, this is amazing. I'm wearing most of the falconer set, plus the mask. Um... Uh... Archdrick robes. I've put a few things away, I believe. Shadow top. I must have got that and not noticed. Those who are especially adept assassins are often hired as bodyguards. In an attempt to stave off the curse, King Vendrick hired Shadow... Oh no, yes, I have seen that. Shadow top. Do I have, like, shadow pants and stuff? No. I'm tempted to give her the wanderer stuff or, like, the knight stuff. Just for sheer, like, awesome de defense, give her the knight armor. Let me check real quick. Let's compare and contrast. Uh, all right, yeah, it's too heavy. Um, I'm tempted to give her the night stuff. Give her some proper armor. I'm sure it doesn't make a difference to an NPC, but just the uh, the theory that she would have more armor. Then she'd be like an armored magic user and like powerful as fuck. Dude, I did not think the robes, when I read Archdrake robes, it would be heavy and armoured. That's more poise, more weight, and more armour than what I'm wearing. But that puts me overweight. Um. Hmm. Now, she said drop the shit at her... F I'm going to give her the night set. Um, she can just have it. Don't want her in tattered shit no more. Although, it'd be nice to sort of see her face and her head. Should I give her the Wanderer's robes instead? Because that's got a, a hood. Sturdy. It's sturdy leather. Mm. Hang on, hang on. The rest of it looks kind of shitty, though. Oh, you know what? What about the Varangian stuff? Because that was like we like no poise, less defense than the one I'm wearing. Ooh. And it looks a little bit better. What's the headpiece look like? Oh, with the horns! Oh, she's getting the Varangian set. Um, She said drop it at her feet, but she's got an option to... Just put it here. She has an option to. So... Okay. I'm guessing she would pick it up if I dropped it as well, but, uh, okay. Fuck me, that's a lot of physical defense. Varangian helmet. Armor. I feel safe giving her this stuff because I've already seen it and I prefer the falconer stuff, so it's fine. And she's got a full set. 
Once equipment is given, it cannot be retrieved. If the Varangian armor is, like, legendary and awesome, I apologize. But, hey. I want to make a nice friend. Rosa Beth of Melfia. Yeah. I have my very own teacher. Ooh. Ooh. His name is Carillion of the Fold. Oh. famed sorcerer in Melfia. Our hometown. Okay. I was fascinated by sorcery. And so... Well, he's... Count Dooku. Really, you see? When he set out for Drang Lake, I couldn't let him go alone. He's right over there. He's back in Medjula. But we were separated quite early on, I'm afraid. I wonder if they're going to hook up now. I mean, clearly, I think I was supposed to come see her before going down to Old Man's Wharf and finding... The I found the master before the student. I've clearly done things in a weird order. I'm rather unskilled. My lord probably ditched me. Well, he's like 300 feet that way. Probably. I'm a fast learner when it comes to pyromancy. What we're fascinated by, and we're skilled at, are not always the same thing. Oh, why can't I just focus on what I truly enjoy? Don't put yourself down! I'm sure she rocks yeah, that fire like there's no tomorrow. Chosen. It's hardly my place. I wonder if we, when we rest, she'll fast travel to Carillion. Because he's, 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 he's in a difficult place to find, but he's, he's sat down overlooking the sunset on the cliff's edge. I have my very own... His name is... I was fascinated. He's, he his name is Carillion of the Fold. Okay, well. So, you can give her other stuff as well. Can I give her, like, a staff to use? Uh... Oh, she doesn't need it. She needs, a, she needs only her fire hands and that's it. Okay, she got three rings. Fire defense, lightning defense, and dark defense. Oh, shit. Okay. If I ever have trouble with dark or whatever, we'll come back. Uh, temporary boost? Fucking hell, this is like the queen of defense. You can even buy three Vulcan seeds. Okay. Got all your fires. <sighs> okay, half of these. In fact, all of these are from the first game. Cool. Thank you so much. I'm very happy for this gift. You're welcome. After I change into this, I'm heading for Majula. Hmm. I'm not sure where I might find my lord. Right. I'm guessing this is just... Perhaps Majula is my best chance. Okay. It's clearly just scripted and once they're together, I'm guessing it'll be all settled and correct. I'm going back to... I hope we... Okay, well, I am going to go back before I do shit all else, but, like, do they just officially not exist anymore? Get my salt. Okay. Um. Oh, let's kill him. Fucking hell. Oh, can you break these doors? Like, permanently? You fucking can? Oh. Hmm. I wonder if the door will respawn when I rest. But anyway, right, let's speak to him and see if he's got anything new to say. What? Clearing the way was your doing, was it? Aye. <laughs> Didn't think you had it in you, pal. No, no, no. That's not like it sounds, you know. It was a pleasant surprise, that's all. Knee worries. Name's Ben Hart. Thanks to you, I can resume. Oh, journey. right, he's going to write. This is... Okay. If we share the same path, I'm sure that we are going to meet again. Is, is this the Luca Teal of this direction? I'll repay my debt to you in battle. I it is, isn't it? By my sword. Right, okay. It's going to be long, but I'm here to help. I think people, somebody said Luca Teal, you, you know. I, I'm sure a couple of people said it basically doesn't matter. You just don't get a reward if they die in the boss fight. They don't die in the actual game. But uh, I think somebody said you've got to summon them like three times or something. I'm guessing this guy is just like Luca Teal, then he'll, he'll be there for boss fights. I, that's a true man. I mean, you're dead. He's dead, and I'll, I swear it. By my ancients, I'd love you. Ooh, joy! 
Ben Hart of Jugo I am is his name. I'd love your ancient sword, sir. I bet that's a reward at the end of his entire quest line. It fucking must be. Right, let's go back and rest. So yeah, as I said at the start of this episode, my my proclamation is thus. I will summon notable named people. That in So far, that includes Luca Teal, Ben Hart, and Rosa Beth, but I, d I doubt she'll be like a quest line summon. She's just a pyromancer trainer, I think. So I think it's just Luca Teal and Ben Hart so far. So I will summon those on my f first attempts. Uh for bosses. And the logic is if I ever want to solo them for the for the whatever you wanna call it, the challenge or whatever, I can always just new game plus it and do it solo later. I value story in that more a little bit than challenge. Uh well rest. Well let's see, are they together over here? Where is he? This is Carillion, the old codger. Oh, there you are. The forces of magic and so it is a fitting Fit place to hold my sorcery. I suspect that I sorcery is yet a mm. da -da 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 -da. Okay. One day might teach So this guy has you. So that guy is like the master sorcerer. Uh, sorry, the master pyromancer, but he sells sorceries, and she sells pyromancers. So clearly he's like a master of more than just pyromancy. He's also got regular sorceries. Well, where is she? She's not hiding somewhere up here, is she? She's got to be here somewhere. She did say she was coming here, yeah? and I've rested. Is she doing a Kirillian? Is she on a cliff's edge somewhere? Tree? No? Well... Let's have a little wander around. It is quite a big place. And then... I think I need to end the episode soon. I've done that thing where I've recorded in more than one part, so I don't really know how long it's been. Let's just keep going. She's not going to be in a shop with anyone. She might be in the mansion. Piggies! Oh, fuck. He got me. I got bested by a pig. Okay. Hmm. She's not down the hole, is she? Rosabeth? I bet she's in the same fucking place, you know. And I need to, like, progress further into that area before she'll teleport. I bet you. But I wouldn't be doing my due diligence unless I checked everywhere. Right, she's literally no way. If she's not in the mansion. And she might be in the mansion, maybe? Pyromancer? Flames on the floor? On the map? Maybe she's in the study? Hello? You never know. I might as well check in with map boy. I have killed old dragon rider and for all I know that was a major boss of uh... Did you see the flame? It wasn't there. Oh. I don't Nah, he's just saying the same shit. There was already two the last time we came down here. She's not in the pit, is she? Anywhere that there's fire, she might be. No, okay. Well, yeah, you know, let's just keep going. I want to find the first bonfire at the very least before I end the episode. And then we'll fast travel back and then I bet she's in Medulla then. Uh, yeah, I've looked everywhere. 
Okay. Whew. I think I might have made more progress in this episode than every other episode so far. Maybe. Or maybe not. I haven't killed like a main area boss, so I guess not. But I've sort of 100%ed a couple of areas. Oh, Scot Scotland man's gone, and she's not here. I must have missed her somewhere. Hello. That's what happens. I wonder if um, the four dudes will drop down from the ceiling. Hmm. After I open this shit. You know what, let's kill the frog immediately, because it's right there. And that's the most dangerous thing. Oh, they are going to fall down. Oh no, shit. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's get single hits. There we go, excellent. Excellent, let's get single hits. And then dodge and reeve, dodge and reeve. Excellent. That's what you call textbook. Even the frog's missing. Excellent. I feel so safe with this shield. Oh, I see. Huh, well, yeah, it alternates the doors. That's now closed and this is open, but you can't undo it, so I'm fucking trapped. Oh, there's the bottom of a ladder. Is that like a broken texture or something? I can't see down there. What the fuck are those things? Those are broken textures. Huh. Okay. Um, right. Okay. I mean, I'm not trapped. I can just home bone my way out, but it's all the same. Another one! And I, had, I haven't given... I haven't given the other one to the Emerald Herald lady yet, so I've got two fucking things to give her and get to eight flasks. Dude. Oh, there's the bonfire we wanted. Oh, shit. Oh, do I keep going and get to the next bonfire? Ooh, I kind of want to keep going. Does that, does that make me a fool? Fuck. I, fuck it. Fuck it. Let's keep going. Unless my hard drive is about to fill. Uh, f f disc full in approximately 34 minutes. Fuck it. Let's keep going. Who cares? Who really cares? Professional. Hello. Oh, right, is this, sorry, is this where the four fuckers, f um, fall down the hole? No, never mind. Uh, hello? Um, friendly? This guy looks like a dwarf. Huh. Let's loot this. Soul of a proud knight. Is this a proud knight that died or something? Is he undead? He just attacked through my fucking shield. He must be... He must be dead. Like, it looks very like... Um, it looks like Scottish guy. Ben Hart. Kind of. But dead. No loot. Okay, I'm... I'm hoping that wasn't Ben who just went hollowed immediately. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Are you, are you proud of my uh, jumping ability? the cameras in my eyeballs, man. Ooh, we got a spike. Hello. Mm. I'll help you. I'll help you. Whew. 
I'm gonna pr I'm gonna hit the the X key nice and loud so you can hear from now on when I'm trying to get through illusory walls. Just in case you're ever wondering what I'm doing staring at a wall. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have big balls. I'm, I've got 24 of these fucking things. We're going human. We are becoming what we were born to be. Human and full health. And confident. Shaded woods. Okay, this is... I'm getting forbidden forest vibes here. I'm guessing there's going to be some tree monsters or something. Can I do the old sneaky sneaky? No, I can't do the sneaky sneaky. Oh, it's just these guys. I'm not scared of these guys. They're just munching on their bodies. Fading soul. Alright, oh, okay. I can't believe I'm not just willfully going back and handing the shards and yeah, I want to get to the bon next bonfire. I'm repeating myself with multiple bonfires, but I want to get to the next bonfire before the end of the episode. Just take my time, take my time. Oh, these guys are starting to get unique attacks here. Fuckers hitting me with little poison rocks. Or just regular rocks. Ooh, he hit me through the shield. I wonder if that officially hit me over the shield. He was above me slightly. Whoop. Loot. Pharos Lockstone. There was one undone Pharos Lockstone back in Lost Bastille. I am so sorely tempted to go to do that next. I'd like to complete the areas I've already been to, you know? I'll add that to the list of things to do for next episode. Um, yeah. Since I've got very limited time. Fuck it out. Oh, I'm- oh, bad. I'm glad these are weak. Longsword? I've already got a longsword. Hmm. Another soul. Another effigy. Hey, that's giving me that effigy back again. This is an interesting, like, ruined area. I guess this is a completely different physical place to the first game. Because I'm getting the garden um, area in the first game. I'm getting garden vibes of some of the round, big stone structures. I guess that's just coincidence. And it's not actually a place in the first game that I'm wandering into. Well, I got the bonfire. I don't want to stop. Uh, well, fucking why not just explore a little bit more? <laughs> Ooh, I'm a whore. Oh shit, man. Oh fuck. Oh god. Oh fuck no. I prefer slightly smoking look at looking crawling devil fucking things to smoky fog island. Uh That's my fa that's the same armor set I'm wearing. I don't have that shield and I'm no longer wearing that hat. But that's the falconer armor set. Is this a friendly? What? 
the fuck? How did I take damage from that failed parry attempt then? He just got fucked. I mean, that's what you get for attacking me. You brought it upon yourself. Right. Oh, there's- oh, there's loads of them. Right. Nice shield, though. That has to be a falconer shield that I haven't got. That look, looks awesome. It's a fucking eagle! They've got an eagle for a shield. Or is it- is it a falcon? <laughs> of course it is. I'm an idiot. It's a fucking falcon. Part of the falconer set. Alright. Du, 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 du. Ah, you fucker. Fuck! Oh god. Fuck! No! You just. No! Fuck! Why did I fuck? No! Fuck! Where did. Where the fuck? Where the fuck did that second one come from? Some of these guys materialize out of the very fucking ether. He was nowhere, and then he was there. Oh my god. Oh, I've got three ways to go as well. Fucking hell. Well, let's kill all these fucking dudes again. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? With their perfect parries and their perfect fucking things. Fuck you. Right, I've got your gloves, bitch. I'm so tempted to relearn how to parry. Um, if, yeah, I tell you what, I know the parry timings are different with every shield in these games. If I can get the parrying down with just one shield, my 100% shield, then I'm onto something. Like, then I'm more willing to learn parrying, you know? Rather than just constantly switching device. I'll try and get behind him. For that very reason. <laughs> huh. Oh, they're right. Okay, they're... there's more than two. Oh, that that power attack lunge is great. Okay, okay. Okay, he hit me with his fucking shield, you little bastard. Uh. Fucking hell, it's unforgiving if you miss a parry. This is just practice. This is ridiculous. You, you, what's the point parrying in this game? In the first game, it was far more forgiving. Attack me. That's all my flasks gone. Last attempt. Has my camera been weirdly far forward this whole time? Okay. Okay. Right, I was parrying far too early. Understood, yeah, I've got to wait until they attack me much more. Because I was parrying far too early. Okay. Right, I'll, I'm not going to do much in this remaining episode, clearly. Um, but I've taken note. We've reached a, a fork in the road here. I've got three directions to go. Now, being a blind playthrough, I've got no fucking way of knowing if one of these is definitely better to go down first. Fog might have to be last. <laughs> um, I have I have a system. I'm basically done. For I'm going to call it an episode here. Let's go give the flasks and maybe level up one last time. 
I have a system when it comes to these sorts of situations, when I've got multiple ways to go or whatever, or I might forget um, the way I've gone. Let's say I need to remember how to get back to a safe place and it's like a maze. I have a system, and that system is always stick to the left wall. Like, I, I always go left, 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 left. Like, I stick to the left edge and always, 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 like, stick to the left side. So I've always got a wall on my left edge. And that means if I ever have to return to a place in, like, a maze or whatever, I then turn around and follow the right... I get the wall on my right side and just follow that all the way back. And it's a foolproof way of getting back in a maze. Um... In fact, oh, there she is. In fact, in a maze, don't you just do that and, and that solves the maze for you? You get my point. My, my point is, I've got three ways to go and I always go left to right, so I'm going to go left first. It's just coincidence that uh, the right way that is last in my system uh, is the scary fog way. But here she is in full Varangian armor. You look awesome, Rosabeth. Oh, there you are. Welcome. I'm here in Medulla, thanks entirely to you. You're welcome. You even were kind enough to clothe me. Thank you so very much. You're welcome again. The only thing I can offer is pyromancy. But if that might help you, come to me. Come to me, all ye who are weary, or whatever Jesus said. Okay, so I can keep giving a shit. Can I just, can I give her, like... Oh, she's got a dagger. She's got weapons. And a sh right, she's got a, a, a little dagger and a shield. Can I give her weapons and she would equip those? I finally tracked down my teacher. But I've decided to keep at it alone. Okay, good, because he's a I bit of a dick. see what I can achieve by myself. I don't blame you. Carillion is a piece of shit. He's rude. Carillion and I are from Malfia to the south, a land lush with sorcery and pyromancy. Master Carillion polished his art at one of our renowned magic academies. But he argued that the academies were terrible places to learn magic. Let me guess, you could be out in the He's wilds to learn? Master Glocken, my previous teacher. Glocken? Spiel? Did he not appreciate the uh, the spiel of Glocken? Oh, that's a clever joke. Spiel, uh, meaning uh, just just talking nonsense. That that that's I haven't made that up. That's an actual term. That's not common. If you're spouting a bunch of spiel, you're talking shit, basically. <laughs> Glocken spiel. Ooh, that's a clever joke it has made. Once Master Carillion spoke excitedly of this land. He made talk of the remnants of some great power and the deep abyss that surrounds it. Oh. I tried to ask more, but he didn't seem to hear. Oh, I'll never be good enough, will I? It was a perilous trip. I faced the most f <laughs> oh. a number of times I nearly died. <laughs> <laughs> Another character laughing in the face of misery and death. I finally tracked down, oh. but I need. Okay, well, thank be you. Safe. You too. You too. Uh, finally, a friendly, non-miserable NPC. Carillion's a dick. Blue boy is just depressed. The poor guy. The old hag laughs at me. The cat laughs at me. That shop is now like, that shopkeeper over there is like up his own ass. He's he's boasting and is a bit of a dick. I think Luca Teal is like interesting, but still kind of miserable because she's like cursed with undeath. Rosabeth is the first person that's like fr friend, you know, friendly and nice. Even the blacksmith is like taking the piss out of me. Right. Anyway, flask time. I've got two things for you. Is that a shard you've here to see light, however faint? Indeed. Can I give her both? One at a time. And another one. Yes. Thank you, kind Emerald Herald. The sign you bear, and without soul. 
Stay strong, even when you have precious. Okay, she's saying the same shit. Right, let's level up real quick and we'll call it an episode. Um, let's use one of those. I want to have zero souls remaining, basically. So at the start of next time, uh, I need to remember. I'm, yeah. 9,000. I need to remember to go to that Faris place. Bearer of the Let Seek Seek Quest. Okay. Uh, we'll level up. Shall I do that now real quick? Because I will forget. Um, let's put another point in decks. Oh, I can't. Hang on. Shit. Oops. I need another 600 or so. 50. Well, that's, that soul isn't even worth it. There we go. There. There's a couple of nice fast weapons that need like 26 decks and things. I'm sort of against upping my strength to like 50 to wield the crazy things. Like I'm not too interested, but there are some nice weapons that require a reasonable amount of decks, like 26 decks. So let's just put another point in decks. Nice, right. Thanks for joining me for this episode. Uh, let's let's just fucking do it. Fuck it. Um, where's the f where's the closest place? It was it was that room I believe, and it's down. No, that's not it. Um, shit, where is it? <laughs> Fuck. God damn, it's not down here, is it? I think it's the other way. Um. Somewhere else. See, it's not that one. It wasn't through here with the little shits, was it? It was in the it was in the dark room, where that fast little fucker chases you. It's not through this way. I can picture it now. Y you go down the ladder. It's further. I I'm. It's it's coming to me. It's. It's near a ladder that's near the Sentinels. I don't know if it's up or down or ladder, but it's 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 back this way. I'm sure it is. There was a ladder over here, but I don't think this. Oops, this just goes up to, to the same place up there. Fuck, where is it? Um. Oh shit, I've seen it today for fuck's sake. How did we get there? Mmm, bollocks. It must have been this way. It was in a dark room where the fast fucker attacked me, and it was it was the shortcut direction to get back to some of the earlier stages in this place. But fucked if I can remember how to get back there. I'm just gonna run through everywhere like a lunatic. Run through everywhere. In fact, it was down there. I, I, I remember. I could have probably taken that shortcut down there. And I'd be there faster. It's, it's fucking down there. Um, shit. Let's kill these or I'm going to seriously regret it. Okay. Because this fucker's blocking the way. I think it was... Wasn't it down the elevator, actually? Let's go... Uh, yeah, let's just go upstairs and take the elevator down. Damn it. Move out the way. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. Here it is. And then wasn't it down here? And then that fast fucker attacks you. Ooh! Fault your death, fault your death, fault your death. Oh, he's not even he's not even dead, man! Oh, I'm fucked if that fast fucker is on me. <gasps> that is bullshit. That is some bullshit. Heal fast. Right, where's the fast fucker? Where is he?
Come at me, fool. Oh, he's fucking actually quite strong. Um, he's got some magic hands. He actually did damage through my shield then. Hmm. Right, here it is. It's been here for 50 years. And this was the last one in all of Lost Bastille. Oh. Yeah! Please be awesome. Please be life changing. Oh, is that one of those things that lets me, uh. Yeah, I already had one. I think that's what lets you do something again. It says, yeah, how this does blah 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 blah. Allows real a reallocation of levels. So I'm guessing speak to witches. Uh I'm sure somebody told me at some point that you can't re respec in this game. I'm sure somebody told me that. But clearly, you can. I'm too lazy to, to run back. Whew. But yeah, you can clearly respec your points. Let's get back to Medulla where it's safe and I'm free to, you know, sort of warm up before next episode. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Right, thanks for joining me for this episode. It's been a it's been a good one. Lots of progress. Met some cool people, progressed some cool shit. All good. I'm looking forward to next episode. Like this vid if you liked it, like this vid if you didn't like it, and subscribe for similar content. All my social media links are in the description, and I have a Patreon if you want to go above and beyond to support my content. Oh, fuck me, I need to take a break. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I am, I don't know if this is obvious, I am drenched. It's so warm, and add on to that the stress of playing Dark Souls 2. And you've got a sweaty fluffy right now, fuck. <sighs> Catch you guys in the next episode. <laughs> Liquid Blitz, out. <laughs> <laughs>